in Biscuit Western Region Primary School Track and Field Championships. So welcome to the In Sports Devon Biscuit Western Region Primary School Track and Field Championship. St. John is on the third and final day. This will be final after final after final after the completion of the 150 meter semifinals. We started the third and final day as we have started in the Eastern and the Central with the 200 meter semifinals, then the 150 meter semifinals. The girls class three, 150 meter semifinals on the track. Janoya Walters Morgan. from Wakefield in Lane one. Three, you have Janoya Morgan Lane in two. And four, she's Lane from Martin New Broughton. And Lane Smith Lane of New Forest is in three. Lane you have six. Martin from Mandeville Lane in four. Johnson, and Foster of Black River in five. Clayton, Johnson from Escher in six. Lane and Clayton Cornaldi in seven. And Zaria Graham from Howard Cook is in lane eight. Full field for the third and final semi-final. Girls class three, 150 meters. A movement there by Martin of Mandeville. She is in lane four. She's wearing the white vest. On our outside is Foster of Black River. And the Johnson of Escher in six. Clayton of Carnaldi in seven. And Graham of Howard Cook is in lane eight. Athletes once again on their marks. It's a clean start, a great start this for Foster of a Black River. Has gained somewhat of a Johnson of Escher. But the young lady from Black River, Foster, Foster trying to carry the field in the home stretch. It's not a carry no more because Foster is there. So to Johnson of Escher, that is a top two. Foster leading Johnson is going to be Foster ahead of Foster. So Foster ahead of Johnson, part of me. So, Janika so Foster of Black River takes a top spot ahead of Johnson of Escher Primary. Stop at the clock. Oh, 23. 23.24 seconds. That's for second. And it did not see the winning time. Uh, this by Foster of Black River ahead of Johnson of Escher Primary. That's and that time was a Johnson of Escher Primary. So, one thing we can say though. One. Top two automatically qualifying for the final the later on this afternoon. Now the next two best times. So get ready now to the boys at the center stage. Boys class three. So Malik Thomas in New Forest from one. Uh, Jordan Lewis. Uh, Mountain side in two. Win Logan Big Woods in three. You have Shaquan Reed of Glenn Stewart in four. Rand Foster of Howard Cook in five. You have Jamal Thomas from Black River in six. Richardo Sterling, Mild Golly in seven. And Austin Manderson from Wakefield in lane eight. Athletes on their marks. First of three semifinals. Boys Cla three, 150 meters. Top two in each heat plus the next two best so times. Great start of this for Reed of Glenn Stewart. He is in the blue. So Reed of Glenn Stewart now. He has more to the past. Everyone, this young man in the full blue. It is Shaquan Reed of Glenn Stewart. Motoring away. What a performance from this young man. And Shaquan Reed of Glenn Stewart. 21.17 he clocked. Oh, it's a new record. 20.86 seconds. This for Shaquan Reed from Glenn Stewart. He is swift. It's a new record in the boys' class three, 150 meters, 20.86 seconds. Erasing his old mark, he set in the preliminaries of 21.17. So that's the winner of the first heat of three, the boys' class three, 150 meters. Kalani Shaw of Howard Cook is in one. 
Devante Luis of Big Woods in two. Tajon Maxwell, New Forest in three. Jovan James from Holland in four. Canada Wedderburn from Flankers in five. You have Alandi James, uh, Brompton six. And I have some McLaughlin from uh, Pizarre in seven. And Kyle Birch from Cornale in lane eight. Heat number two on track, lane one, Kalani Shaw, Howard Cook, lane two, Devontae yes, Lewis, so Bigwoods. You have lane Shaw, three, Lewis, Maxwell, Maxwell Forest, James Wedderburn, James Lebron, James McLaughlin, Mullen, and five, Birch. Wedderburn, Plankers, so those eight, are the Birch, eight names we're saying. So no McLaughlin, missing in action. So six facing the starter from what we are seeing from our vantage point. So the God has sent them away. And brilliant two. start this for James of uh, Fullwood. James has yes, covered Wedderburn of Flankers. James on the inside in the yellow vest. He's trying to carry the field in the home stretch. It's a young man with a red head band. James from Holland streaking away from everyone. And James will take it in second. Looks to be Wedderburn. And in the final spot is Birch of Corinaldi. Top three in the Weatherburn boys' class three, 150 seven. meters. Devon Biscuit sponsored class three boys, 150 meters. The third and final heat coming up in the semi final round. Three on track. So Deshaun Lane Daly from Deshaun Holland, Daly Holland in one. Uh, Renique, Renique Allen from Piscat from two. As a Neil Gale from Corinaldi. In three, Dwayne Hewitt, Mountain Side in four, Tyrone Henry of Mile Gully in five, Tamale Thompson of Black River in six, you have uh, Javon Robinson from Escher in seven, and Martina Baker from Glenstilt in eight. So seven face in the starter though. Don't see Allen of He's going to be in lane two, missing in action. Athletes on their marks. The third and final semi-final, the boys class three, 150 meters. Oh, Please getting on first, on getting on first. But Daly of Holland, Daly of Holland went I'm ahead before the gun. So recall Take was done the for the seven I competitors for the third and final semi-finals. Time to go now to the call room. That's the high jump open for boys. Finalists, make your way now to the core room. So the third semi-final gets another opportunity one, after four, daily in lane one finalists. from Holland, who had a time make of 23.42 seconds in the preliminaries, went ahead of the gun. But this is just the primary division. They'll have a talk with him, calm him down. And let's go again. Seven facing the starter. No Allen. Should have been in lane two. So God has sent them away. Great start for Hewitt of Mountainside. Hewitt of Mountainside, the diminutive Mountainside man, Hewitt, Mount alongside Mount Henry of Amal Golin. Hewitt carrying around the field in the home stretch. Hewitt now on the outside of Hewitt is Henry of Mile Golin. Henry of Mile Golin has taken over. Henry. Henry of Mile Golly takes it. So Henry takes ahead of Hewitt. Mile Golly's Henry stops the clock at 22.52 seconds. Tyrone Henry of Mile Golly gets the victory over Dwayne Hewitt of Mountainside in second. Both will advance through to the final as automatically top two goes through from the three semifinals that took center stage a short while ago in the boys class three 150 meters in second 22.65 seconds this for hewitt of mountainside automatically advancing through to the final the next event on track is the 70 meters hurdles open for girls and then for boys every event after this will be final after final after final We'll give you a points update very soon as it's going to be interesting in terms of what will be happening and which team will come out on top. On the third and final day of the InSports Devon Biscuit Western Region Primary School Track and Field Championships.
The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. 
sponsored by the InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series, pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series, pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series, pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series, pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series, pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series, pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series, pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series, pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series, pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And boys, 300 meters, final.
It's day three of the in sports Devon Biscuits Western Region Primary Championships, the 2023 edition. We've seen action on the track this morning with the 200 meters, classes one and two are boys and girls. Also, the 150 meters for boys and girls, class so three. That was semi finals. Now we're down to straight final. The next event on the track will be the 70 meters hurdles coming up. And that's for girls and boys. That will be open. Then you have the boys, class one, 400 meters, along with the girls, 400. Then class two will showcase the 300 meters. Then right after, it will be the 60 meters, the long jump, the under 60, 60 meters again for class four, girls and boys. Then the 100 meters for class three, two, and one for both boys and girls. And then the high jump, which is scheduled, was scheduled for one o'clock, is now going to take place. So the high jump will take center stage now. What they're trying to do is to end a little bit earlier than schedule because there are some forecasts for rain in the afternoon. They had rain here yesterday on the penultimate day, and they're expecting the same thing to happen this afternoon. So to do that, to get out before the rain starts, they're just trying to push things um, and may finish ahead of schedule that is that is the plan statings from the officials on hands out of the 100 meters will be a lunch and interval then we come back with the 800 meters and then the 200 meters final of a classes one and two 800 meters is an open event and then you have the 150 meters then the 800 meters sprint mandarin aim closing out with a four by two so we're getting ready now for the 70 meters hurdles. Lane four, Yannicka Smith Escher. And this is final. Lane five, Wakefield. So Harris of Glenn Stewart is in one, had a time of 15.10 seconds. Daly of Kernaldi, Sansia Daly is in two, 15.14. Natasha Montague from Brompton is in lane three, 14 seconds flat. You have Unika Smith from Esher, 13.04 seconds. That was her qualifying time. Powell in five from Wakefield, 13.57 seconds was her qualifying time. Ayanna Williamson from Mountainside in six, 14.87. You have Ellison from Howard Cook in seven with a qualifying time of 15.03 seconds. And Jada Gray from Holland, 14.95. That was her qualifying time. So the first final on the final day coming up. The girls 70 meters heard us open. Harris in one, Daly in two, Montague in three, Smith in four, Powell in five. She's from Wayfield, Williamson six, Mountain side, Ellison in seven from Howard Cook, and Gray in lane eight from Holland. You have to look out for lanes four and five. Yannicka Smith of Escher and Carissa Powell of Wakefield. Those are the favorites. But more so, Esha's Smith. She's expected to take the gold. Girls open, 70 meters hurdles. 13.87 seconds was the record set by Horton. That was last year before it was broken by Smith of Esha with 13.04. The boys will be next 70 meters hurdles, so no adjustments will be made in the height of the hurdles. David Riley, the meet organizer. You know, the coaches association is on the field. Athletes on their marks. It's a start to the girls at 70 meters. And it's open. We spoke to you about Smith. She is in the red. Smith is moving away from the rest of the pack. Smith. Going over the final flight of hurdles, it'll be Smith all alone. And in second, it seemed like Powell and Montague from Brompton is third. And the clock stopped 12.87 seconds, a faster time. This is a new record for Unica Smith. 12.87 seconds. So 12.87 as she's equaling the record. 12.87 for Unica Smith. So herself and Horton. Are the record holders in second though? Carissa Paul of Wakefield and Montague from Brompton finishing in third. So that's gold, silver, and bronze 
So Esha, 13.04, which I thought earlier was the record, was not. So 12.87 seconds is now the new record, or should I say, is a record equaled, which was done last year by Sabrina Horton. It's a gold for Smith. Or so we're ready for the boys now. Malik Buchanan, Mountain Sign with a time of 13.58 seconds. Zamani Smith of Black River in lane two, 13.67. Region right of Mountain Side, 12.45 seconds was his qualifying time. Hanif Jones of Glenn Stewart, 12.02 seconds. Robin Jones of Karis Book in six. 12.06 seconds. Nikolai Blair of Escher in six with a time of 12.48. In seven, Siobhan Walker of Black River, 13 seconds flat. And Eric Edwards of Barracks Road, 12.66 seconds. Hanif Jones in four. Full blue. He's the one to labeled as a favorite with 12.02 seconds. That was a record run. He did in the preliminaries. The gun has sent the them away. The Sir Jones of Glenn Stewart on the inside of Jones is right of Mountain side. Right of Mountain side. Right on the inside. Jones on the outside is going to be the man from Mountain side. Ridge and right ahead of Hanif Jones of Glenn Stewart. Stops the clock at 11.57. That is a new record. So range and right of Mountain side. Taking the gold in the boys' centimeters, heard us open ahead of Hanif Jones of Glenn Stewart. 11.57 seconds. That is the winning time. That is a record run. That is impeccable from this young man from Mountainside. 11.57, erasing the old mark of 12.02, 11.64. So Hanif Jones, 11.64. So. He went faster than what he did at 12.02 in the preliminaries, but he was not fast enough, Mr. Jones, because Wright was faster than the pack to gain the gold. Jones gained the silver. He is from Glenn Stewart. So Nikolai Blair of Escher finishing in third, 12.40 seconds. Gold, silver, and bronze in the boys' 70 meters hurdles. The next event on the track is the 60 meters so 60 meters final and then the 100 meters to close out the morning session cricket ball throw on in earnest is going on and just an introduction to the throws at this level you don't expect them to handle the implement of a discus or a shot put so what they do to get them sensitized in throwing they have the cricket ball throw at this age not a bad idea at all to get them interested in throws not the same form they're not in a ring but just the idea of throwing that should help them go through the high jump which was scheduled to start at 1 o'clock is now going to get on the way. As we say, it will be 4, we may finish ahead of time. Because of the weather forecast, it's expected to rain in the afternoon. On the grounds of St. Elizabeth Technical High School, that's where we are. In the beautiful parish, they call it the bread basket though, St. Elizabeth. Santa Cruz coming to life on this glorious Saturday morning. For we cruise in the afternoon. It's the third day, final day of the in sports Devon Biscuit, Western Region Primary School, Track and Field Championships. I'll call it primary champs. The third and final regional. We had the Eastern at Stadium East last weekend. Then in the week at GC Foster College, from Monday through to Wednesday, you had the Central Region. And then now we're having the Western region right here on the grounds of Stets. So 70 meters hurdles completed. I jump open, finalists for boys. And then I jump open, finalists for boys. 
if you are not at the high jump area, so the next make event, your way to the call room. They are at the high jump area now. Well, I did say the 60 so meters, the 400 the meters before room. the 60 meters. So the next event on the track is a 400, then the 300, then the 60 meters. Has been a wonderful meet so far. And been a wonderful regional we championship so far. Two boys, 200 meters. Giovanni Lawson, three quarters. Philip Beckford, Howard Cook. He couldn't have asked for more though outside. on this glorious Marley, Saturday also morning. Outside. Sir John Price, Woodland. And they're Newport. ahead of time, the organizers. And because of that, they'd want to stay ahead of time, as was expected to happen in the afternoon. Athletes are coming across for the 400. It will be classes one, just class one, pardon me, for boys and girls. And then for the 300 meters, we class two for boys and girls. They'll go back to the straight for the 60 meters. Medal presentation been going on. And non stop action around though with the cricket ball throw, the high jump medal presentation. All on the infield and then on the track very soon will be the 400 meters. Kudos to the sponsors, Devon Biscuit, coming on board. A little late though, but coming on board for the next three years, nine million dollars. We spoke to them, in the Eastern region, and seven million in cash, two million on the ground, as they give away their goodies to athletes and also patrons who attend the event. Now for the cricket ball throw open for girls. So, medal presentation going on, and athletes coming across for the start of the 400 meters. Medals being presented by Andre Hansen, sports officer, St. Catherine. Receiving the bronze so, Andrea medal, Hansen. Amanda Jones, Esha, 37.01 meters. A cricket ball throw receiving their medals from Andre Hansen, sports officer from St. Catherine, and with that happening on the infield, receiving the silver medal, Lee Fullerswood, Sir Lee of Fullerswood getting the silver in the cricket ball throw, girls' cricket ball throw. And athletes are coming on for the 400 and meters class one girls. Medal, he has a white Brompton, 38.79. White of Brompton gaining the gold. Congratulations to the medal winners for the cricket ball throw open to the girls. They will now get gift bags courtesy of Devon Biscuit. So I only see seven ladies for the start of the girls 400 meters. Carissa Powell, Wakefield, please go back to the long jump area. Carissa Powell of so Wakefield, give it a lane assignment. please go back to the long jump area. For the 400 meters, class one girls, you have Michelle Harvey from Mountainside. At a time of 1, 10.93 seconds, she's in one. Shamoya Williams, a Brompton in two, one, 12.09. Shereen Williams, Mandeville, she's in three. 106.61 seconds. Now, Anisha Pottinger from Howard Cook in four. 105.17. Chantel Morris of Carisbrook in five. 106.54. They have Santana Brown of Brompton in six. 107.00 seconds. You have Lisa Foster from Carisbrook is in seven. 108.70. And Atia Samuels from Black River is in eight. 107.81. Receiving the bronze medal, Brompton, so the, 1 minute 08.88. So the athletes, I mean, on the track now, they're taking off. There's a little bit of confusion happening here. Uh, 
And hopefully they can sort that out. Now they are just the being placed in respective lanes on the track. Now as you look and see the medal presentation happening. On the infield. Four by one teams accepting their medals. So I think they don't want to start the race until the medal presentation is over. So Cardinaldi getting the gold as they no go on the podium. I think they're waiting the end of the medal presentation to start the 400 meters. As giving everyone a pound of flesh, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Light breeze blowing over the ground of St. Elizabeth Technical High. Congratulations, ladies. East they will receive gift bags courtesy of Devon So Biscuit. receiving their gift bags courtesy of Devon Biscuit, the title sponsor. Athletes are going to go back on the track. For their girls, class one, on 400 track meters. For class one girls, 400 meters final. So they were just placed on the Speaking track the and they're down. taken off and over the back on. Michelle Harvey, Mountain Side. Way two, Shanoya Williams, Brompton. Lane three. So all eight competitors are there now. They have to look out for Pottinger. She's in four. She has the blue top lane and five, red shots. She's a favorite though. She has a record of 105.17. The old mark was 105.31. Uh, Atiyah Samuel, Black River. So the girls, class one, 400 meters. Harvey, Williams, Williams, Pottinger, Morris, Brown, Foster, and Samuels. All eight in this girls, class one, 400. Remember, the record is 105.17 done in the preliminaries by Pottinger, who is in lane four, the favorite to take this gold medal. Athletes on their marks. Set. In the set position, the it's the start of the girls class one for 100 meters. Pottinger gets out well. She has gone by Morris of Carisbrook. Also on our outside, she has gone by Brown and Foster, and then has covered Summers. The young lady in the blue top and red shorts. She has the momentum, she has the lead. She settles on the back stretch. Now we see Morris of Carisbrook trying to reel her in, but with about 220 meters to go, this young lady who clocked 105.17 seconds in the preliminaries is motoring on with about 150 meters to go. She's trying to carry the field in the home stretch. Pottinger in the top spot. She goes around. Pottinger. She slowed down, but she has gone into another gear. This young lady, Pottinger. On the outside of Pottinger is Morris of Carisbrook. That is the top two. Pottinger. And the young lady from Carisbrook, Morris. Morris trying to mount a challenge, but Pottinger is holding on. So Pottinger holds on, takes a tough spot. And coming through, I thought it was more so, but it's Brompton's Brown because Brown was running in the wrong lane. But Pottinger, nevertheless, she gets the gold. 1 minute 04.87, which is a new record. 104.87 seconds. 
Pottinger of Howard Cook getting the gold and another record. She lowered the mark in the preliminaries to 105.17, now going even faster to 104 on the clock. Manisha Pottinger of Howard Cook getting the gold in the girls' class one 400 meters final. With 40.65 from Esha, Kemar White in six. With 50.00 meters from Mountainside, Adeem Crow. So now the boys take center six. stage. With 52.01 from Nazareth, Ezra mm -hmm. Powell. Mm -hmm. Khalil Morgan in, in Howard Cook in one. One minute, 06.79. Damara Gordon of Esha in two. 107.95 seconds. Jaden McIntosh, she's in three from Barracks Road. 103.61 seconds was his qualifying time. Rajon Sparks of Fairfield in four. 58 or 59.83 seconds. And then in lane five, Eric Edwards from Barracks. 101.36 seconds. In lane six, Tien Barrett of Coronaldi. 106.78 seconds. In lane seven, you have uh, Shavar Allen of Glenn Stewart, 104.71. Then you have Francis Javain is his first name from Brompton, 103.88 seconds. So the boys are lining up for class one boys, 400 meters. I don't see McIntosh from Barracks though, who had a time of 103.81, 103.61, pardon me, from McIntosh of Barracks. Lane four, the record holder, Rajon Sparks, Fairfield. Let's see. In lane five, Eric Edwards, Barracks Road. So seven facing the starter. Lane six, so no McIntosh. Lane seven. Savar Allen, Glenn Stewart, and in lane eight, Shavane Francis, Bronson. All the Glenn Stewart fans are in the house. Shavar Allen of Glenn Stewart, he's in seven. He's a, where's the light blue? The representatives of Devon Biscuit just walking across the ground. Well, the ladies who present the medals or hold the medals on the platter. And so to the medal recipients. Running across. Kirkland Markland, please report. Kirkland Markland. Please so we're report. ready for the next 400 meters. This is class one, boys. Record here is 105.17. Pardon me. That was for the girls, actually. Well, 59.85 seconds done by Sparks of Fairfield. Class two girls and boys, 300 meters. Finalists should be at the ballroom. Class four girls and boys, 60 meters. Finally, go now to the ballroom. On your marks. So athletes being asked to go on their marks. You have to look in lane four. In full blue though. Dark blue as you may call it. Set. It's the start of the boys' class one 400 meters final. As I said before, you have to look for Sparks of Fairfield. He looks relaxed on the outside, though, is Edwards of Barracks. Edwards has gone by Barrett of Cardinaldi, but now the move has been made by Sparks of Fairfield. He has gone by Barrett of Cardinaldi. No, he has gained somewhat on Edwards of Barracks. So the man, Sparks of Fairfield, with about 200 meters to go. It's both Sparks and Edwards. Edwards and Barks. So Sparks having a slight advantage based on the stagger. He's on the inside though in full blue. Sparks of Fairfield who had a time of 59.85 seconds in the preliminaries. Now he's on the shoulders of Edwards. It's Edwards on the outside and Sparks on the inside. Sparks moves away from Edwards. So Sparks of Fairfield, the record holder. He gets the gold. Stops the clock of 59.36 seconds. And in second, it looks to be Edwards. And in third, Allen of Glenn Stewart getting the bronze. 59.36 seconds is the flash time. This for Rajon Sparks of Fairfield. 59.40 is a new record. The 
Sparks. Ray John Sparks getting the gold. And Eric Edwards of Barks, he was second, gaining the silver. And the bronze going to Shafar Allen of Glenn Stewart, who is lying on the ground. Again, when we call the presentation area, it is a gold, silver, and bronze in the boys' class one 400 meters final. The next event on the track is a 300 meters, and the girls' class two will take center stage. Class two girls, sorry, 300 meters. So class two girls, three 300 meters. Carissa Howell of Carrie's book is Wake in one, 50.98 seconds. Sabina Richards Lane Wakefield Lane is in two, 51.05. Alexia Lane Spence of Black River, 48.61 seconds was her time advancing through to the final. You know, Alia McDonald of Howard Cook Lane in four, 47.18 seconds. In five, Michaela Dennis, a mountain side, 49.28. Lakshmi Small, Small from Brompton is in six, 50.35 seconds. In seven, you have Van Wade and Brown of Escher, 50.50. And Jamelia Van Horn of Coronaldi in lane eight, 48.91. To 300 Alicia meters. Parkinson. Make your way to the presentation area. High jump open medal winners. McDonald's. Avenue, Escher, and Black River. In red. She's in four. Four by 100 meter relay winners. Glenn Stewart, Black River, and Holland. Class She's a new record holder, McDonald. Racing the old mark, which was set last year by Kimarion Wright. 47.93 that was said last year. She ran 47.18 in the preliminaries. And many persons think she can go even faster. So cricket ball throw still going on. So to the high jump on the boys' side. For presentation, please. So it was bright and sunny a short while ago. Now uh, some bleak clouds hovering over the grounds here on Stets. Or over Stets. So the athletes are on the track for the start meters, of the 300 the meters. Please go now to the call room. 60 meters. Class four girls and boys competitors. Kindly go now to the call room. So waiting the start. Instructions from the starter. Start had to go across though, moving from the start of the 400 meters to the start of the three. Remind you of the lane assignments once again. Howell in one from Carisbrook. Richards from Wakefield is in two. Spence of Black River is in three. McDonald, Howard Cook in four. Dennis Mountain Side in five. Small Brompton in six. Brown of Escher in seven. And Van Horn Coronaldi is in lane eight. So the athletes and there's a meeting with the officials on the infield hopefully that can be whatever that is rectified very soon so the athletes who are standing on the track I don't can go for girls medal presentation receiving the silver medal the grass the track. 1.20 meters Receiving the gold medal, Brianna Bailey, Avenue, with a record. Has been used a lot in Stats Track. Stats Invitational, meters. Western Abigail Champs. Young, Avenue, had that record she set last year. It's noted for fast times at this track, this grass track. There's still a little delay happening here for the girls' class two, 300 so in meters. Lane three, Cherise Pence, Black River. For the girls. Lane 
Hafriz now going on their marks. A reminder, Matt Donald, Howard Cook in four. She is the favorite, the record holder. And the guard has set them away. On the outside of McDonald is Dennis of Mountainside. Dennis of Mountainside has gone out extremely hard. So Dennis of Mountainside has the advantage with about one, or should I say 180 meters to go. Dennis of Mountainside. Uh, the move now being made by Howard Cook McDonald. That's a slight move, but she's way behind. She has a lot of work on her hands. Here comes McDonald of Howard Cook. She's in lane four. She's in full red. She's gaining somewhat of Dennis of Mountainside. Dennis of Mountainside on the outside. But McDonald of Howard Cook, she takes over. Brilliant run from this young lady. Well timed, well executed. So McDonald of Howard Cook takes it ahead of Dennis of Mountainside and Spence of Black River finishing in third. Winning time is 47.49 seconds. Not the fastest time. 47.49. This for Akila McDonald of Howard Cook gaining the gold. The silver going to Dennis of Mountainside and the bronze to Black River's Alexia Spence. One, two, three. The girls class two, 300 meters final. Next event is the boys. Terrell Davis of Barks in 150.76 seconds. Tyler Gregg of Escher in 250.96. Jaden Smith of Cornell, he's in three. 47.13 was his qualifying time. Javoni Lawson of middle quarters in four. 46.38 seconds. Yeah, Clacia Beckford of Howard Cook in five. 47.15. You have Josh, Josh Deshaun Williams from Brompton in six. 48.92. Dejuan Powell, New Forest in seven. 49.63 and Kevin Gardner from Cornaldi in 8 49.00 and Joshani Williams from Brompton is in 6 Places Beckford Ward Cook in 5 So Lawson 46.38 seconds that's a new record he set in the semi-final Christopher Phillips had the record of 46.73 seconds that last year so we're in the white vest though Lawson of middle quarters and the blue shorts he's in four we have to also look out for Smith of Coronado in three and Beckford of Howard Cook in five they both clocked 47 seconds in the semi-final round and seemed like they had something to give they can go a bit faster God has sent them away. Great start, we said, by Beckford of Howard Cook. He gets out well on the inside of Beckford is Lawson of middle quarters. But the man called Beckford he has gone past Williams on its outside. He's from Brompton and now gaining on Paul and Gardner from New Forest and Coronado, respectively. So Beckford of Howard Cook has the advantage with about 130 meters to go but on the inside here comes Lawson in the white vest and the blue shorts but still it is Beckford of Howard Cook with a slight advantage on the inside is Lawson of middle quarters that is the top two with about 60 meters to go but he's fighting off Lawson Lawson fighting the breeze Lawson now goes in front of middle quarters he's slowing down but Lawson gets it and coming through on the inside is Smith of Coronado for second and Beckford of Howard Cook is in third 45.56 seconds wow a record Javon Lawson who brought the record in the semi-final has run faster in the final 45.56 seconds for Javon Lawson of middle quarters in second as Jaden Smith of Coronado 45.87 and in third you have Classis Beckford of Howard Cook 45 Point nine six seconds. All three competitors running 45 seconds in the boys' class two, 300 meters final. The next event on track is the 60 meters final. This is for class four girls and boys. As we take a look on the long jump. Tina 
Look at the long jump competitors. A white flag being raised. So I said before, a lot of action on the track. The long jump, as you're witnessing now. The two long jump pits at Stets. A northern and a southern. With a record breaking time of 27. As athletes come Lewis on the track for the 60 the meters. Last four. So 60 meters class four. The one will be timed final. Here are your eight finalists for the class three girls. What I see here is section one, two, and three. So it will be timed final. With a record breaking run for the 60 meters. So three sections. Record here is 9.94 seconds. That was broken by Corsi Nazareth. From Nazareth, 9.84 seconds. So with a long jump going on, in class four, 100 meters. Time to the final. Hurdles open for girls. The mm -hmm. winner, 60 Delicious meters, pardon me. Mm -hmm. Well, the 70 meters earlier on field. was Third, more so the hurdles. Well, 60 meters, girls class Ayanna four. Three sections. Delisa Ellison, Howard Cook. For this final, so time the final it will be. When it comes down to the toddlers, a lot of phones come out because a lot of videoing happens we'll be at that time. That the class four girls, 60 meters. The class four boys, 60 meters. Class three, two, one. Girls and boys, 100 meters. They are semi, they are timed the finals. And so, as Ed is saying, it's time time the finals. So, so, as the announcer so stated, again, the three the finals, fastest time will be gold, silver, and bronze, and the eight fastest times will be tallied meters. as points towards respective time schools. The for the so the first of three sections is a turn of Cornelli in one at time 10.30. Janelia Barnes of Black River in two, 10.29. Anika Jamison in three for Mandeville, 9.98 seconds. Latonia Corsley, Nazareth, 9.84. Yeah, Kelsey Cross of Glenn Stewart, 9.93 9 seconds. 56. 5 the Borgia Morris of Chester, 9.93 seconds. Yeah, 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 Morris of Chester, 9.93 
And then after the break, we have come back with the 800. 200 meters one, final. Avenue. Two, 800 Joanna meters Robinson, sprint relay. And four by two. The boards of Morris, Sam Castle, Lane Four, Natonia Corsley, Nazareth, in with the fastest time, the record time of 9.84. In Lane so, Five, Felicia Cross, Glenn Turn up, Barnes, Jamison, Corsley, Cross, Morris, Daly, and Robinson. Lane Eight, Chesanique Wells, Mountain Side. All yours, Mr. Stout. Athletes in the set position. So Good has set them away. Great start for Jameson of Mandeville. Then coming through now is Corsley of Nazareth. But it is going to be Jameson. So ahead of Jameson. So what I have here on my paper, Jameson. 9.47, 9.47 seconds for the winner of that first section. That's for Morris of Chester Castle. Well, in semi-final, make that the finals. So we have her, Morris, in lane six. But we have Jameson in lane one. Zaria Weekly, Barracks Road. Lane three, Alia Morgan, Woodlands. Lane four, Ashley Morgan, Woodlands. Lane five, Tashina Medley, Glenn Stewart. Lane six, Patricia Powell, Paris Brook. Lane seven, Shanique Bennett, Holland. Lane eight, Kaylee Gabidon, Fullerswood. Hurdles school, you're needed on track. Hurdles so the school, 60 meters girls was revised actually. So some late entries came in, so what I had was incorrect. Now I do have the correct lane assignments. So section two, Jackson in one, weekly in two, Morgan in three, Morgan four, Mending, Paul Bennett and Gabadon. 
So, going on the inside, it looks to be weakly on the outside. It looks to be Paul taking it. it like Paul of Carsbrook was right there. 10.32 seconds. So, Paul of Carsbrook getting the gold. in this or should i say oh, well, the fastest type in this 10.32 but not the gold i just reminded though to top eight times to score points so the winner oh, in middle. section one run nine so seconds the 9.47 by morris that is the fastest time so far. It was a time final though. The third and final section coming up. And the Borgia Morris of Chester. She recorded that in section one. The section three you have Britannia Ibanks from the quarters. Elaine one. Shani less from Pram in two. You have Shippy Brompton in three. So Gordon Fairfield in four. Bogle of Nazareth in five, Morgan Esser in six, and Drummond Escher in seven, and Francis of Fullerswood in lane eight. So today, Jess, Shippy in three, Gordon in four. Don't expect a fast time in this race, though. The third and final section on the girls' side. And reminder that it's a timed final. For the 400 meters of the class one boy, the, the 60 meters. With a record run of 59.40. Second, Eric Edwards Barracks Road, 1 minute 01. Lane two is vacant. Should have had Third, Savar, today. Yes, of Chapman. Competitors go now to the presentation area. Fourth, Javain Francis Brompton. Fifth, Barrett, Avenue. It's a girls eight Six, and under. That's Demar a girls class Morgan, four. Seven, Khalil Morgan, Howard Cook. Athletes on their marks. Shippy though of Brompton, the final one to go down. Oh, stumbling there was Gordon of Fairfield in lane four in the orange vest. So they did not let them go. So they're back on their marks once again. Gordon has so sent them away. And good well, looks to be like Bogle of Why Nazareth. Is Bogue of Nazareth, but you have to look now for Drummond. Drummond of Escher Drummond takes of Escher. the gold. The clock still goes, yes, but Drummond of Escher wins section three oh, of the girls' oh, class four, 60 meters. No time on the clock just yet as the clock continues to canter. But one thing we can say is that Kimaria Drummond, 10.37, 10.37. Goes to the Borgia so the, the Borgia Morris, Morris gets the gold 9.47 for Chester Castle. Girls. She takes a class for girls 60 meters. The boys are next. So we do hope, though, it's not revised on the boys' side that we had on the girls' side. So three sections on the boys' side. A record, 9.26 seconds, set by Jamario Webb of New Forest in the preliminaries. 
is on chambers of Glenn Stewart in one. 10.03 seconds was his qualifying time. Jalil Brown of Mountainside in two, 10.01. John T. Kroll of Escher in three, 9.74 seconds. And Jamario Webb of New Forest in four, 9.26. Amar Williams Wakefield in five, yeah, nine point seven two seconds. Nicara Edwards Escher in six, nine point seven nine. Orville Gardner from Cornaldi in seven, nine point nine nine seconds. And Kajon Simpson Wakefield yeah, in eight, nine point six nine. So three sections. And a reminder though, it's a timed final. And all top eight will automatically advance to the big dance of the Nationals that comes up the 24th of this month. The final weekend of this month. So boys, class four. This is section one of three. Chambers in one, Brown in two, Kroll in three, Webb in four, Williams in five, Edwards in six, Gardner seven, and Simpson of Wakefield is in eight. Here the results for the class two boys, three hundred meters. In place, Tyrell Davis, Arthur, Kevin Gardner, Cornell in seventh place. Please, Tyler Burke, Eshaw, Williams, Brompton, Powell, Newport, Kelly, so Jamari Morgan Third place, Kelly, ran 9.56 seconds Coast. last year to register that winner, record. Lost, quarter, However, so that has been dismissed 9.26 seconds by Jamario Webb. Athletes on their marks. No Brown of Mountainside in this first of three sections. Kroll and Webb. And the gun has set them away. Webb gets out well. He is diminutive. Mr. Webb from New Forest in full blue. He sprints away from the rest of the field. Webb stops the clock at 9.35 seconds. 9.35 seconds that is the flash time 9.26 is a record 9.38 so 9.38 seconds web of new forest win of section one 9.87 section two coming up jaleel wallace of black river in one 10.39 seconds was his qualifying time. Eight Jason two, Shakes uh, of. Uh, well, he's, he's missing in action. Two, Jason, three. So, three, Deshaun Anson from New Forest, 10.61. Jaheim Wheatle from Woodlands in four, 10.24. In five, Troy Lawrence of New Broughton, 10.21. In five, five Adriana Williams, Williams of Flankers, 10.06 seconds. We have Ayla Gray Flankers. from Holland in seven, 10.24. Or Sean Thomas, Black, Black River, 10.07 seconds. So seven faces in the starter and in the win. second section, the penultimate section of the boys' class four, 60 meters final, timed final. So Wallace in one, Anson in Four two, Wheatle in three, in four, four part of me. So Anson in three time. because Shake should have been in two, missing in action. Athletes on their marks. Have to big up Sky Water. And the gun has sent them away. Great start for Wheatle of Woodlands. Wheatle of Woodlands going well, but on the outside of Wheatle is Williams of Flankers. Williams of Flankers, he takes it. Stops the clock at 9.93 seconds. Williams of Flankers, that is a flash time. 9.93 is a flash time. 9.98 seconds for Williams of Flankers. Adriano, 9.98 is official time. So Adriano Williams takes the gold. 
Oh, not the goal, but the section actually. Security. Second section. So the second so section. So not fast as the first time, 9.38 seconds by Jamario Webb of New Forest. But 9.98 nevertheless puts him in second. So section three coming up, the boys class four, 60 meters. Jamaris Samuels, Holland, 10.41. Callie Moore, Walters, Fullerswood, 10.42. Markin Anderson from Carisbrook is in three, 10.32 seconds. You have Janaldo Watson from Howard Cook in four. Kajil Smalling from Fullerswood in five. Caden Hamilton, Howard Cook in six. Anjuan Ward, Nazareth in seven. Giovanni Lawrence of Cornali is in lane eight. So one and two missing in this. So no Summers, no Walters. So Anderson Watson, Smalling, Hamilton, Ward, and Lawrence. Lanes three to eight used. After the code for Watson, he's in four. In red. And beside him, Smalling of Fuller's Wood in gold. Gone has set them away. Great start. So this for four. Watson he's of Howard three. Cook. Well, in lane eight is Lawrence of Coronale. Lawrence of Coronale, meaning business on the day. Lawrence of Coronale stops the clock at 8.99 seconds. Lawrence of Coronale coming into this event with a time of 10.35 seconds. Let's see if 8.99 will stand. If it stands, it's 9.67. 9.67 seconds. For Lawrence, Giovanni Lawrence. So let me look back on the times, the winning times. 9.38 seconds. So Webb will run 9.38. And Lawrence, 9.67. Should put him in the medal standings, though. He should put him in the medal standings. So the 100 meters, they are next on the girls' side. Class three girls. Shaquille Ritchie from Clapham. Zamora Fullerton, Fairfield in two. Chris Ann Erickson, Howard Cook in three. Renika Reed of Fuller's Wood in four. Jalika Foster, Black River in five. Chelsea Fisher, Woodlands in six. Dishel Bridgen from Escher in seven. And Kendra Wright of Black River is in lane eight. Time the final once again, section one of three. Girls, Kla three. 100 meters. 14.30 seconds is the record. Will it be bettered here this afternoon? According to the qualifiers, the fastest qualifiers go into section one. As athletes go into their respective or on their marks. I was going to say blocks, but there's no blocks on the track. Richard Fullerton, Erickson, Reed, Foster, Fisher, Bridgen, and Wright. Gun has set them away. Great start it is from Fisher of Woodlands. Fisher of Woodlands on a slight advantage on the inside. It looks to be Erickson of Howard Cook. But moving away from Erickson is Reed of Fullerswood. Reed of Fullerswood takes a goal. Reed of Fullerswood takes a goal the head of uh, Erickson of Howard Cook and Fullerton of Fairfield. 15.09 seconds for Reed of Fullerswood. In second. It was Erickson of Howard Cook. No time on the board just as yet. But 15.09 seconds is for Reed of Fullerswood. 15.38 seconds for Erickson. And Fullerton finishing in third, 15.43. 15 15.43 for third. Heat number two on track. So heat number two. Morris of Barbary Hall in one. Yeah, Tiana Thompson, Holland. 
Taysia Williams of Brompton in three, 15.66 seconds. Kiara James of Howard Cook in four, 15.94. Paris Edwards, Brompton in five, 15.65. You have Chloe Martin of Mandeville in 6, 15.76. Amelia Shaw of Coronale in 7, 15.39 seconds. And Samoya Bramwell of Holland in 8, 15.34. Athletes on their mark. The penultimate section. Girls Class 3, 100 meters. Time to final. Gone has set them away. Great start to the outside from Bramwell of Holland. But trying to come through. Looks to me like Edwards of Brampton. Edwards on moving through now. Coronaldes. It is Shaw. Shaw gets it ahead of Bramwell. Shaw gets the gold ahead of Holland's Bramwell. Not the gold, but the top spot in this section. 15.41. That's a flash time. This for Shaw ahead of Bramwell. Lanes 7 and 8. 15.44. And that's Shaw's time. Amelia Shaw, 15.44. That's Bramwell. I was not sure who finished third. Well, to be honest, though, Fullerton of Fairfield finished third in 15.43. At Erickson from Howard Cook finished second, 15.38. That was in section one. And read one, 15.09. So getting ready for the third and final section. Chris and Campbell from middle quarters in one. Yeah, Esther Lee Klein, Coronale in two. Uh, yeah, Shatara Watson, New Forest in three. Janoya Morgan, and New Broughton in four. Tiana Manning, Mandeville in five. You have Shaquana Bromley from Wakefield in six. Jelly Smith of Frankfield in seven. And you have Beckford of Clapham is in lane eight. The final section on the girls' side, girls' class three, 100 meters, athletes on their marks. Right, Campbell. The quarters is missing. So on the outside, it's Beckford. He's in lane eight, though. On the inside of Beckford is uh, Boning from Field. And moving through, looks like Boning from Wakefield. And the young lady from Wakefield, she gets it. So Boning of Wakefield, she gets the win. 15.62 seconds. So let's look at the official time for Boney of Wakefield. 15.64. So that time will not be sufficient. So, so Reed gets the gold of Fullerswood, 15.09 seconds. Second is Erickson. She gets the silver of Howard Cook, 15.38 seconds. And the bronze going to Fullerton of Fairfield, 15.43. All three competitors coming from section one. Those three, first, second, and third, placing in section one. Section two winner was Shaw with 15.46 seconds, was not better than the three. And section three winner of us Bonnie a Wakefield 15.64 was this not better than the three so first second and third in section the one boys, gets gold boys, silver and bronze boys, in the tied boys, final in the girls star three 100 boys, meters boys, 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 so the boys class three section final Jamal Thomas of Black River in Black one. Boys, Ryan Warner Foster, Warner Howard Warner Cook in two. Kennard of Wedderburn, flankers in three. Shaquan Reed of Glenn Stewart in four. Jovan James Holland in five. Dwayne Hewitt, Mountain Side in six. Ajani Blackwood, Frank Field in seven. And Alma Sterling from Barracks Road in lane eight. You have to look for Shaquan Reed of Glenn Stewart. He's in four. He is a record holder. He is a record holder. He's racing the mark of 14.46 seconds. Set by Rashawn Rowe last year. 
So what can Shakwan Reed do in this race? He has a superb all season in the light blue. Seems like he can do everything, Shakwan Reed, in lane four. Afriz on their marks once again. First section. God has sent them away. And you have to look in lane four. Shakwan Reed in the light blue. He takes now over and is moving away on the rest of the field. Shakwan Reed, this man from Glen Seward, he gets the gold. Shakwan Reed, second is James of Holland, and third, Hewitt of Mountainside. The winning time, 14.17 seconds. 14.17, the winning time. This for Shakwan Reed in second. Uh, Jovan James of Holland, 14.82. And in third was well, Dwayne Hewitt of Mountain Side. His time not on the board just as yet. But Jovan James of Holland, he finished second, 14.82 seconds under his belt. But Dwayne Hewitt of Mountain Side was third, 14.83. 14.83. For James and Hewitt, respectively. Well, section two coming up. Dimitri Anson from New Bonn uh, in lane one. A Wayne Logan from Big Woods in two. Alanda James from Brompton is in three. Austin Manderson from Wakefield is in four. Sunil Gale Coronaldi in five. Martino Baker, Glenn Stewart in six. Sean Channel of Black River in seven. And Nikoi so David, New Forest. For you have to look Anson, for Manderson in four. And Gail from Carnaldi, he's in five. This is the penultimate section, the boys class three. 100 meters timed final. In sports, Devon Biscuit, Class Western girls, Region, primary champs taking place on the, the grounds of St. Elizabeth Technical High. This is Stets in Santa Brown Cruz Brown Brown with the light breeze blowing Williams over the grounds and the sun pelting hot. Top three, Vanessa Pottinger, Santana Brown, Shereen Williams. Make your way now to the presentation area. Athletes now going on their marks once again. In the set position, the start of section two, the boys, class three, 100 meters. So you have to look for Coronaldi's Gale. Gale with a slight advantage. He's from Coronaldi. Still Gale maintaining, and he strides away. It's going to be Gale of Coronaldi. Holds his right hand in the air, pointing. Says, I am the champion. But he's just the winner of section two. 15.18 seconds for Gale. 15.18. The winning time for Gale. Oh, that, that time by Gale, 15.18, the winning time in section two. Benita Does Martina, not better Santana gold Brown, first, second, Green and third Williams. in section Old one. 14.17, 14.82, 14.83. So though he won section two, two it does not put him in the medal placings at all. So we await section three if they can break up the party in section one. So in Blake of Carnale, he's in one. Ricketts of Carsbrook is missing in action. Finnegan of uh, Finnegan is in three. He's from Pondside. Sean Daly Holland in four. Brandon Burnett of Middle Quarters in five. Kalari Shaw of Howard Cook in six. Shanari Blake Barracks in seven. And DeAndre Vassal from Esher is in late eight. This is the final section, the boys class three, 100 meters. This is a timed final. Heat number three on track. 
Can they break up the Section 1 party? Can they trouble the medal placings? Remember, it's a time to final. It's dependent on the time you put down. So not even if you're winning, you slow down, it goes against you. So once again, athletes trying to close out. Final section of the boys' cloud, three 100 meters. Blake, Finnegan, Daly, Burnett, Shaw, Blake, and Vassal. So Gone has now. sent them away. Great start. This for Vassal up there. She's in lane eight. He's maintaining a slight advantage on the inside from Howard Cook and Shaw. That is the top two. Shaw. Shaw made with a slight advantage. Shaw and Burnett. It's going to be Shaw taking the toss for the head of Burnett. And then in third is Vassilov Escher Primary. 15.83 seconds for Shaw of Howard Cook. That is a flash time. 15.87 seconds. For Shaw. Burnett was second. 15.88 seconds. This for Burnett and Vassa in third. So 15.88. This for Burnett of middle quarters. And in third should be Vassal. Not on the board in terms of his times. 15.97 seconds. So the winner of the boys' club, three 100 meters. Uh, Shakon Reed, the record holder, 14.17 seconds. The silver medal winner is uh, James of Holland, 14.82. And the bronze medal winner, Hewitt of Mountainside, 14.83. So all three, as we saw in the girls, same for the boys, coming from section one. Gold, silver, and bronze with the times. We're now down to class two girls, 100 meters. Jasmine Williams of Wakefield is in one. Latish Brown of Mandeville is in two. Rihanna Gale of Woodlands is in three. Yeah, Brianna Chin, Wakefield in four. Yeah, Michaela Dennis, Mountain Side in five. Kayla Marie Carr of Escher in six. Amoya Howell, New Forest in seven. And Kimari Drummond, Escher is in lane eight. Athletes on their marks. Not looking too comfortable was Chain of Wakefield. And the gun has wow. sent them away. Great start there is for Gale of Woodlands, but on the outside of Gale is Chain of Wakefield. But looking in lane seven is Howell of New Forest. There comes Chain and Howell. Howell holding off Chain. It's going to be Howell. Howell in lane seven from New Forest ahead of Brianna Chin. Howell's time is 14.05 seconds. And Chin finishing in second, 14.23. It was close for third. So Howell of New Forest gets the, gets the win in section one. Is New Forest here? And they're cheering on the New Forest supporters in the stands. And in 0 5. 14.23 for, two, three for Chin. Uh, we tell you who's the. We don't have the time for third just yet. So down to now, section two. Walker, Black River in one, Williamson, Mountainside in two. Ayana is her first name. And Kalisha Drummond of uh, Clapham is in three. Monique Robinson, Frank Field in four. Crystal Campbell from Pondside in five. Evans Henderson from Cornaldi in six. You have Joni Reed from Middle Quarters in seven. And Bianca Burt from Barracks in lane eight. That's Barrett. In yeah, section two of three. Second, Girls North class Street, two, 100 Barrett. meters. Third, Casey Aterna, Coronado Avenue. Fourth, Kalisha Cross, Glenn Stewart. Fifth, Shauna Wayne Daly, Frank Field. 
six, Otisia Powell carries book, seven, Joanna Robinson, Corinaldi Avenue, and eight, Hi Maria Drummond, Escher. So, Walker, in one from Black River. Williamson Mountain side in two. Drummond in three from Clapham. A reminder, it's timed finals for the 100 meters. Athletes on their marks. No read from the quarters. Oh, going out was Robinson of Frankfield. Has to be careful, Robinson. Went out before the gun was fired. No Seems like Reed of mid quarters missing in action. She was supposed to be lane seven. The lane seven is empty. A yellow flag shown to the field, although it was shown to Robinson, who is in lane four. It was meant for the entire field also. So a warning. And the official just having a word with Robinson. Seven competitors for the penultimate section, girls class, two 100 meters. And the gun has sent them off. Clean start, that is. This for Robinson of Frankfield. Robinson having a major advantage with about 40 meters to go. Trying to extend her lead. Robinson moving away. And Robinson will take it. As going to be Robinson ahead of Campbell upon side. So 14.89 seconds for Robinson. 14.89 seconds. And Campbell is second. The winning time for Robinson. 14.89 is the winning time. And it's awaiting Campbell's time. Who was second on our outside? So 14.89 has not changed as a wait. No time for second, 14.89. So Ben Loss from New Broughton in one. The only Mackenzie Howard Cook is in two. Ramona Foster of Fuller's Wood in three. Monique Hines, Big Woods in four. Khadija Watson, Glenn Stewart in five. You have Stacey and Forrest from Holland in six. You have Atisha Fagan, Woodlands in seven. And Shantan Tanoi McLeish from Nazareth in lane eight. Athletes on their marks. Starter not satisfied. Ben Loss, Mackenzie, Foster Hines, Watson, Forrest, Fagan, Adam McLeish. Athletes on their marks. The Here gun has set the them up. Great start. It was. It's for Forrest. Uh, on the outside, it looks to be McLeish. McLeish with a slight advantage, but try to come through is Hines. Now it's Hines takes it. So Hines takes the head of Foster of Fullerswood. Big Woods Hines. Monique is her first name, taking the head of Ramona Foster of Fullerswood. 15.22 seconds for Heinz. So we check back in section one. For the class four boys, 60 meters, the Mario Webb New Forest. So, section one. With a record run, 9 Showcase 14.05, 14.23 is from Howell yeah, and Chin. Those two athletes we mentioned before are the gold and silver recipients because overall, when you calculate all times, 40.05 is the winning time from the three sections that took center stage. And Brianna Chin, 14.23 is the second best time overall. We did not get the third place time in that event, Stacey so we don't know Williams who has copped the bronze. So no time for the boys. This is section 103, boys class 2, 100 meters. Record holder, 13.87 seconds. Linford McKenzie done last year. So Brian Dixon of Mountainside 
in fifth. Howard in Coach, one. 59 points. Shaquille in Blake, four. a box road in two. Amarion Chantelope, a Black in River third. in three. Damar Clark of Mandeville points. in four. In DeAndre in Barham of Mandeville, he is in and five. Javada Ricketts, Escher, uh, 40.19. After 18 events scored. So Corinaldi is leading in the points department with 114 from 18 events scored. So the boys, 100 meters. Chantelo, Clark, Braham, or Barham in five, Ricketts in six, Lee in seven, Mackenzie in lane eight. Gun has it set them away. Great start it is for Chantelo of Black River. He's in three on the outside of Chantelo. It's Clark and Barham. Clark goes away from Chantelo. And it's the man in lane four, Clark. Clark gets ahead of Chantelo. So Clark gets it ahead of Chantelo. Clark of Mandeville takes the, takes the top spot. 14.11 seconds is the flash time. This for DeMar Clark. And 14.13. Chantelo finishes in second. He's from Black River. No well, time on the board just yet. Uh, 14.13 seconds. The winning time and in second not on the board just yet is chantelope his time now 14.40 for chantelope it's only first and second on the board section two coming up and Tony mcdonald of brompton he's in one shamar williams fuller's wood in two jaylon phillips or phipps part of phillips part of me and flankers in three the John Price of Woodlands in four. Stephen Downey, Flankers in five. The John Watson, Middle Quarters in six. The Jory Morris of Carisbrook in seven. And a Johnny Crummy from Cornaldi is in lane eight. Athletes on their marks. Section two coming up. Voice class two, 100 meters. In the set position, and a gun has set the way. Sitting in the blocks was Price from Woodlands. Where? What was he thinking about? Price is now coming back. Here comes Price. He was sitting in the blocks. Now he has gone past everyone, and he will take it. The big man comes across to take it. What an impressive run for Tajon Price of Woodlands. He sat in the blocks while everyone went. 14.74 seconds. And then he ran past everyone to run record 14.74. Wow, if he did not sit in the blocks, he would have produced an impressive time, maybe 14.1. An incredible performance from Tajan Price with that run. However, that will not land him gold or silver. Of Don't if land him a medal at all. Section three coming up. Chad Wayne Fuller from Glenn Stewart in one. Jaden Johnson middle quarters in two. You have the John Paul New Forest in three. The Wayne Biggs New Forest in four. You have in five J Al Hunt from Esham in five. And then six. You have Malik Campbell Cornaldi in six. Lamar Martin Riverside in seven. Akeem Linton Black River is in late eight. So the Vane Biggs in four, and J.L. Haddon from Escher in five. Athletes on their marks. Oh my. Jaden Johnson of middle quarters. He's in lane two, though. Went ahead of the gun. So no yellow flag will be shown. A red is coming up. Is it going to be a red? Oh, I Last thought a red. The red was in his left hand. I, he separated Park both flags. So the yellow flag shown to Johnson, who's in lane two. Third and final section. Boys class two, 100 meters. Time to final. The girls are next, class one. Gone has sent them away. Great start for Johnson. Johnson again 
I thought though that Johnson again got up ahead of everyone and he was just warned he's in lane two though and the official stands I thought it was Johnson in two the official now walks up to the athlete Johnson and what card will be given to him a red card it's the first time I'm seeing a red card though and he's gone he got the warning earlier on and he went out before everyone a second time out he must be disappointed Jaden Johnson of middle quarters and in the eastern region they were lenient as much as somebody started twice fall started yeah. twice they spoke to them but leniency has gone through the window this time around so john says out from the quarters false start so field cut down to seven so martin of riverside he's in seven he's in the golden vest on the outside of martin is linton trying to come through now looks to me like biggs of new forest uh, looks to be biggs of new forest i think biggs get, got it 40.91 seconds for new forest biggs Four girls it was close. He was in lane four. His teammate Paul was on his inside. 14.92 seconds. The official time. That will not carry him in the middle. So, so one thing we can say though is Demar Clark of Mandeville. He copped the gold with 14.13. And Omarion Chantaloupe of Black River, the silver, 14.40. There's no time for the third place in that event or any other of the section, so we don't know who actually caught the bronze. But we do know who caught the gold and silver, Clark and Chantelot, respectively, from Mandeville and Black River. So class one girls, 100 meters. Alia Dennis of Brompton in one. Anila Walters, Woodlands in two. You have Alexia Wilson for middle quarters in three. Renee Lewis of Mountain Side in four. Anila Grant of Corinaldi in five. Renee Jones of New Forest in six. Kathleen Reed of Corinaldi is in seven. And Unika Smith of Esha is in lane eight. So there you have it. Renee Lewis, record holder with 13.58 seconds in the preliminaries. Erasing the old mark of 13.88. She is in Coach lane four. Of middle quarters, you're needed at the medical area. Coach of middle quarters, you're needed at the medical area. Devon Biscuit, Class one girls, 100 meters. They are here. When I say Devon, you say Biscuit. Devon. Devon. So the first section coming up. Renee Lewis, Mountain Side in four. She's full red decked. In the set position, the start of section one, the girls class one, 100 meters. So the young lady, but here's Grant of Coronaldi. Grant of Coronaldi out in front. Renee Lewis is coming back. So Lewis and Grant, and it's going to be Lewis takes the head of Grant. Lewis of Mountainside takes the head of Grant. 13.71 seconds. This for Renee Lewis gets the tough spot. 13.71. So Grant of Coronaldi finishing 13. in second, 13.72. It was that. 13.71, 13.72. First and second in section one, section two coming up. Deandre Name Morgan in Manneville in one. Akilia McIntosh from Howard Cook in two. Brianna Jones of Wakefield in three. Tamisha Robinson, Fuller's Wood in four. You have Zwage Edwards from Barracks Road in five. Coriamon Forms in six. He's from Brompton. Brittany Brown, Pondside in seven. 
And Talia Ferron from Clapham is in lane eight. So. Karana Forbes Brompton, Lane 7, Brittany Brown Pompton. Lane 8. Karana Forbes, that's her first name. I've never seen a name like that though. C O R A Y N N A. Could, could be pronounced Karina. Now Karina. Karina. So be on the safe side, I just say Forbes. Athletes are into their start positions. I have to look out for Robinson from Fuller's Wooden Four. Robinson gets out well on the outside. In lane seven is Brown upon side. She's in the purple vest. We're moving away from Brown is Ferron of Clapham, but moving well. It looks to be Edwards, and Edwards gets it. Edwards gets oh, it uh, ahead of Morgan. Edwards. So Edwards ahead of Morgan from Mandeville. 14.16 14 seconds oh, is for Edwards. Morgan, who is in lane one? 14.28 seconds. But not close to the winning breathe, breathe, and the second place breathe. in section one. 13.71, 13.72, that was first and second in section one. Breathe. This is by Lewis Thank and Grant from Mountainside, Coronel, they respectively. But Edwards of Barks Road, she won section two ahead of uh, Dion Jonay Morgan of Mandeville, finishing 14.28 seconds. So section three coming up. Ashantoy Black Morgan River. of Frank Lane Field three. in one. Tanika Gulgar from Black River in two. You Lane have Lauranique Laws of Fullerswood in three. Myrna Atkinson Barks Road, Road in four. Tajana Blake of Mountain Side in five. Tajana Smith of Black River in six. Kendra Miranda from Flankers in seven. And Kalisa Willow from Howard Cook in eight. Final section. In the 100 meters on the girls' side. This is class one. Time final. Boys, Make your way to the call room. I drop open for boys finally. Make your way to the call room. Section three. Final section. Athletes going on their marks. Morgan, Gulgar, Laws, Atkinson, Blake, Smith, Miranda, and Williams. It's a clean start. The brilliant for Laws of Fullerswood. She is in the yellow vest. Also moving well from Laws. Looks to be Blake of Mountain Side. But the young lady we spent to before Laws of Fullerswood take full control. It is Laws ahead of Blake. Laws of Fullerswood, she takes it ahead of Blake of Mountainside. 14.38 14 seconds for Laws. And Blake is in second. Blake is in second. And let's wait on Blake's time, though. Won't make much of a difference, to be honest. 14.53. But one thing we can say that. Renee Lewis of Mountainside, she has gained the gold with a time of 30.71. That's the fastest time out of all three sections. The second fastest comes also from section one. The time of 13.72 seconds. That gold and silver going that way. Bronze, we don't know just yet. But the winner of section three was Edwards, 14.16. Winner of section two, pardon me. Winner of section three was Laws of Fullers with 14.38. Winner of section two was Edwards, 14.16. Not good enough for the medals on hand in terms of gold and silver, but we don't know much about the bronze. Semi-final one. Please forgive me. 
So tie in the final, final, the boys coming up the first. One boys, one final. So in lane one, Blair, two, Gavin, one. three, Samuels, Wilkinson, four, Turner, five, Cole, six, Gina, seven, and Anderson in lane eight. The first section of three. Okay, Brilliant start. On this on the outside. This will be Anderson from Esher. But you have to look for Ishmael Wilkinson in lane four. The man in the red vest, that is Wilkins. It's Wilkins holding off the charge. So Wilkins gets it ahead of Gale and Samuels. So Wilkins is first. 13.07 seconds is the flash time. The official time is 13.08. The winning time for 30.08 seconds. Gavin is in second. Gavin from Nazareth is in second. And Samuels of Barks in third. The 30.08, the winning time. Gavin of Nazareth's time, not on the board just as yet. He wants to have it at 13.17. And in third was Samuels to 13.19. So let's see the rest of the sections. Can they Heat beat these two, times? Lane one, Javon Williams from Clapham so Javon Williams from in one. Hibbert, Grove Ajani Town. Hibbert, Grove Town in two. Carol Lindsay, Holland. Lindsay of Lindsay Holland, Holland in three. Mandeville. Nathaniel McLean from Mandeville Javon is Stewart in four. Savoy Stewart, Black River in five. Giovanni Graham of Barracks in six. Collington James of Wakefield is in seven. And Raheem Livingston, New Broughton is in lane eight. Awaiting the instructions of the starter, the penultimate section, the boys' class one, 100 meters timed final. Still, six minutes to go before 12 o'clock on the local soil in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. Athletes on their marks. Great start it was this for Lindsay of Holland. He's in three. We're moving on the inside. Graham of Barracks Road. Graham of Barracks Road has the advantage. The main advantage on the inside is Stewart. But Graham, but Graham gets it ahead of Stewart of Black River. Barracks Road, Graham ahead of Stewart of Black River. 13.58 seconds. And 13.62 seconds for Graham. 13.62 seconds for Graham. And Stewart finishing in second. 13.75. So Giovanni Graham of Mark, second section two, head of. Savoy Stewart the Black River 13.75. Not good enough to break into the top three in section one. So Krishan Moulton, Frank Field in one. Tevin Robinson, Riverside in two. You have Jafari Mulsak from New Forest in three. Zoel Hines, Glenn Stewart in four. Shaheem Egbert from Howard Cook in five. Amin Wilson from Pisa in six and Damari Paul Mountain side in seven and Javon Jennings for Black River is in lane eight. So missing in action looks to be Wilson. Make your way to the presentation area. So, seven face of the starter. In the final section, boys class one, 100 meters. That's a clean start for the final section. It is Jennings of Black River. He's in lane eight. But you have to now look on Mulsak from New Forest. Mulsak from New Forest is holding another challenge. It's outside of Hines. Hines takes it ahead of Mulsak. 
So Hines ahead of Mulsak from Glenn Stewart. 14.02 seconds, and that's a flash time. 14.07 for Hines. And in second, Mulsak from New Forest. So no time on the board just yet, but we don't have to wait on that though. But we know who won gold, silver, and bronze. All coming from section one because Ishmael Wilkins of Howard Cook winning the gold, 13.08 seconds. Kieran Gavin of Nazareth, the silver, 13.17. And Javado Samuels from Barracks, the bronze, 13.19 seconds. Gold, silver, and bronze in that event. And that is the boys' class one, 100 meters. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... Advertise on our live streaming on Track Alert social media pages, which provides the most prominent online viewership from Track and Field Meets in Jamaica. Your products will be seen by our large audience in Jamaica, the diaspora, and across the world. Book your spot in our live stream for a very small introductory fee. Call or text us at 876-893-4157 or email anthonyfoss at gmail.com trackalerts.com from start to finish 10.29 seconds for Johan Blake an impressive run hi my name is Shelly and Fraser Olympic and world champion for your latest track and field news log on to trackalerts.com trackalerts.com from start to finish <laughs> Hosting a function or event? Want it to be streamed live on Facebook, YouTube or Zoom? iView365 can help you. We specialize in sporting events, stage shows, funerals, concerts, conferences, church services, graduations and many more. Call or text us at 876-893-4157 or email anthonyfoss at gmail.com. That's A-N-T-H-O-N-Y-F-O-S at gmail.com. Stay with Truck Alerts TV by clicking the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to make sure you get all our races, interviews and exclusive content. And don't forget to like, comment and share. Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... 
The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by. It's in sports, Devon Biscuit, Western Region Primary Championships in the beautiful parish of St. Elizabeth. Bread basket, they call it. We have the latest point standings to give you. The next event on track will be the 800 meters. Then they have a small break. Just spoke to the head honcho, David Riley. So let's get right to it in terms of the latest point standings after 25th position. It's after the Saints checking how many events scored. Points for 24. It doesn't say, but let's let's get right to it. 25th, Clapham, they have two points. 24th, Pondside, they have four points. In 23rd position, Barbara Hall, they have seven points. In 22nd, you have um, Chester Castle with nine points. In 21st, New Barton with 10 points. In 20th, Nazareth with 11 points. In 17th, 13 points. In 17th position, the quarters. Also having 13 nine. points, Woodlands and Flankers all having 13 points under their belts. In 16th, the Holland, they have 18 points. In 14th, Frankfield, they have 19 points. 
Also, Fairfield, they have 19 points. So 13th position, Mandeville with 22 points. In 12th position, Caris Brook with 25 points. In 11th, 29 points out of their belt, that's Fuller's Wood. In 10th position, New Forest, they have 37 points. In 9th, Wakefield, they have 42 points. In 8th, Barracks Road, with 57 points. In 7th, Glenn Stewart, with 60 points. In 6th, Howard Cook, they have 66 points. In 5th, Mountainside, with 74 points. In 4th, Brompton, with 75 points. In 3rd, Black River, they have 85 points. In 2nd, Escher, with 118 points. And in the top team so far, Coronaldi with 123 points. A slight lead over Escher. It's a two-way battle heading towards the final event this afternoon. More is results are coming in as we speak. The high jump not calculated just yet, and the long jump. Those are to be tabulated to see if what will change. So we said before, the next event on the track is 800 meters. And 800 is extremely difficult. There are 12 entries. We see other papers, making sure how many are on the field. So 12 are here, 12 are there. The Glenn Stewart. So the 12 competitors are off. And on the outside looks to be Francis of Frankfield. Trying to muscle away in front. Also there the duo from Glenn Stewart, Clark and Jones. And looks to be Clark goes in front of Francis who set us in second. And in third is Gentles of Wakefield. So, so that is the top two. So we give you the 12 entered here. A Brian Clark from Glenn Stewart in one. Hanif Jones, Glenn Stewart in two. Gentles, Wakefield in three. We have Wright of Carsbrook in four. We have Tamara Gale, Black River, at a time of 235.85 seconds. Dante Blackwood of Brompton, 248.04. Ever John Morgan of Carisbrook, 240.09. Deshaun Mendez in the mix. Nazareth, 240.53. Mendez. Mendez. Half of Nazareth, 240.53. So Stewart of Middlestone, Middle Quarters, 245.49. Reed of Coronaldi, 245, 249.87. Jordan Cole of Middle Quarters, 251.78. And Francis of Frankfurt, 254.20. Oh, Harry so the top two and with about 200 meters to go so Jones is out in front coming around the bend up top. Uh, up top. So, so Jones cruising around heading into the and home stretch. So Jones cruising around ahead of Clark. So Jones cruising home. So Jones, she takes it. 
232.90 seconds. And two, uh, two, uh, two, one. And top two at the present time. First and second. So Jones ahead of Pinnock. And the girls 800 meters. So Jones gets it. 232.90 seconds. That is a flash time. That was an exciting race. So the also of the assignments that was given was was a wrong assignment. They had a mix-up between the boys and the girls, so they gave the boys for the girls, the girls for the boys. So that has been corrected. But the times was given a while ago was for the boys, not for the girls. So I do apologize about that. Ladies and gentlemen, this race is a crucial race. So, so the, the girls the had their run a short time ago, which was won by Jones of Carisbrook. So and Davicha Pinnock of Carisbrook was second. So, so the winning time was Karen Jones is 2.32. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a new record! Courtesy of Torian Jones of Paris. So Jones, Mark, 232.94 two, two seconds is a new record. She ran 238. Here are the results for the long jump open for girls. The winner, Lizone Brown, Howard Cook, with a record jump of 4.22 meters. Well, guess what? News coming in about the 200 meters in Kenya. Keep Kino meet. Shakira Richards are continuing on her form. Our excellent form, you may say, running 22.07 seconds to win the women's 200 meters. Shalane Fraser Price pulled out due to feeling a niggle in training. She pulled out of that race. 22.07 for Shakira Richardson. She's in spanking form. For the cricket ball throw open for boys, the winner, Dashani Edwards, Harris Brook, 60.90. Second, DeAndre Dixon. So we're getting ready now for the third, second 800 meters. Ellis, Bronson, and this now is at the boys, in the boys lineup. It's a clerk of Glenn Stewart, Jones of Glenn Stewart, 226, 231, respectively. Jensen's of Wakefield is in three. Seven, Kemar White, Escher, Ace, the Troy Brown, Woodland. Four. We're asking the top three. Make your way to the presentation area. The Shine right of Carisbrook. Carisbrook you have to look out, though, on the inside. Ellis, Brompton, the duo from Glenn Stewart. The they look phenomenal. Boys, we have a new out. Of Clark and Jones with 226 and 231. Of Robin Jones of Paris Brook on his first attempt. So this is 8 of the meters open for boys. Record 227.26 seconds. That was a record by Blake 
set last year, but was beaten. Was broken by Clark to 26.89. So, Athelisa just lining up. So, Clark of Glen Stewart, Jones of Glen Stewart, Gentis of Wakefield, Wright of Carsbrook, Gale of Black River, Blackwood of Brompton, Morgan of Carsbrook, Mendez of Nazareth. You have Stewart of Middle Quarters, Reed of Coronaldi, you have Cole of Middle Quarters, and Francis of Frank Field. Rashawn Morgan, Terrence Brooks, Deshaun Mendes, Nazareth, and Sam Stewart, Middle Quarters, Joel Reed, Coronaldi Avenue, Jordan Cole, Middle Quarters, and Omario Francis, Frank Field. Seeing what is happening with the officials for the boys 800 meters. Give a reminder of the point standings. Top five, Coronaldi, they're out in front, 123 points. Escher, they're second, 118 points. Black River, they're third, 85. And Brompton, fourth, 75 points. And fifth, Mountain Side with 74 points. The latest point standings we have here. It should change. After the 800 meters, and with two events coming in, the long jump and the high jump, that should change the dynamics of things. On your mark. Stand up. So, athletes, getting ready for the start of the 800 meters. Stand up. Read of Cardinal 249.87. What can you do? Well, the record holder goes out in front. And that is a Clark of Glenn Stewart. He goes in front followed by his teammate Jones. That is a top two in this boys 800 meters. Oh, uh, athlete has tumbled over. He gets up back. He's okay. He tumbled over, rolled twice, and now he's back up and he's sprinting like he's running at 200 meters. Now leading the pack is a Brian Clark. Looking relaxed though. We're now going way out in front. So the young athlete from Black River, Gale, has gone out in front. To Mario Gale of Black River trying to kill the dollar house of Glen Stewart. So Gale with about a five meter lead. He'll be accepting the bell lap very soon to Mario Gale. Seems like he's hit a wall somewhat because he's slowing down extremely fast. The faster, the duo, Clark and Jones. Clark calling on Jones to say, come, we have it covered. Well, there's another athlete and now slipped into fourth. So, Carisbrook Wright is in third. So, still Clark leading Jones and Wright. That's a top through, but there's another athlete coming through. He has passed Anthony from Kyrie's with the right step in that third position. I think the man from middle quarters, uh, Stewart, Natal Stewart, now has gone to third. He's trying to break the Glenn Stewart party. 
but that won't be happening today. So says Glenn Stewart supporters, but he's coming back. But now, Jones and Clark. So Clark moving away. So Clark, the record holder, has found another gear. So it's all about a Brian Clark winning the gold. And coming through for second is Nathan Stewart of middle quarters. And in third looks to be Hanif Jones of Glenn Stewart. Glenn Stewart one, Glenn Stewart three. Two minutes, 27.26 seconds for Brian Clark. 227.26, not as fast as he ran in the preliminaries because he was urging on and his teammates as a come, let's go, let's go. But breaking up the Glenn Stewart party was the man from many quarters, Natal Stewart, get the silver. But what a performance from a Brian Clark. He had a lot to give. He could run, he could run even fast, much faster than that one. Are you here? So the supporters, Glenn Stewart to our right. They're cheering on. As they are celebrating the victory in the boys' open 800 meters a short while ago, where Brian Clark he came out on top to win in 227.26 seconds. No time on the board just yet for Nathan Stewart of middle quarters. No, it comes. 230.77 seconds. And in third, Hanif Jones, his time not on the board, but good run from a Brian Clark for getting the gold in the 800 meters open run. A small break comes up. Now we are going back on the track with the 800 meters sprint medley open. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series, pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series, pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by...
So after the resumption, we're back on the track with the 200 meters. It's in sports, Devon Biscuit, Western Region Primary Championships. We had the preliminaries of the semifinals earlier this morning. Now it's time for the finals, starting with the girls' class one, 200 meters. We have class one and class two, 200 meters boys and girls in the 150 meters class three. So Alia Dennis from Brompton in one, 29.19 seconds was her qualifying time. Elistra Foster carries Brook in two, 29.20. Venetia Pottinger, Howard Cook in three, 28.31 seconds. Renee Lewis, Mountain Side in four, 27.41. Anila Grant of Corinaldi in five, 28.19. You have Zwayne Edwards, Barks Road in six, 28.93. Dejania Blink from Mountain Side in 7, 29.14. And Alexia Wilson from Middle Quarter, she's in 8, 28.99 seconds. This is the 200 Brian meters Morgan, final. Morgan, you have to look in lane 4 for Neil Lewis, the record holder, 27.41 seconds in the semi final round. She's in full red. On our outside should be Grant of Coronali, who saw her Grant in the 100 meters earlier on, running on fast, placing second in her section. She is a swift Grant, but Lewis is the one to beat in lane four. Full red for Lewis. Athletes on their marks once again. No Blake for Mountainside in this final. Seven phase at the start, at the start of the girls 200 meters. As you said before, Grant gets out well from Coronaldi. She now has passed Edwards and has Wilson in her sights. Grant is going well on the inside of Potting of Howard Cook in that second position. But here comes Lewis of Mountainside in full red. Now on the eyes of Grant, she goes by Grant. Renee Lewis of Mountainside in full control ahead of Grant. And finishing in third is Pottinger, but Renee Lewis of Mountainside, 27.68 seconds for Renee Lewis gaining the gold. In second, the silver, Anila Grant of Corinaldi, 27.72 seconds for Renee Lewis, the winning time for Mountainside, the gold. And the silver, Anila Grant of Corinaldi, her time not on the board just yet. And Venetia Pottinger, the bronze, Howard, Howard Cook. Well, 28.19 seconds. This for Grant of Corinaldi, the silver. And a Pottinger from Howard Cook getting the bronze. 29.11 seconds. Congratulations to all three. Gold, silver, and bronze. Lewis, Grant, and a Pottinger. Lane 4 is the fastest time of 26.37. Andre Genus, Mountain Side. Lane 5. So the boys' class 1, 200 meters. Howard Cook. Lane 6. Javada Samuels from Barks Road. In 1, 28.00 seconds. Richardo Anderson, Escher Primary. In 2, 28.28. You have Kieran Gavin from Nazareth in three, have enough qualifying time, 26.68 seconds. In four, you have Andre Genus, Mountain Side, 26.37. In five, Ishmael Wilkins, Howard Cook, 26.62. In six, you have Malik Turner from Frank Field, 27.11. In seven, Andrew Cole, Coronaldi, 27.89. And Javoy Stewart, Black River, 27.72. In four for Mountain Side in full red once again. On the outside is Wilkins of Howard Cook. You have to look out for Wilkins also. Oh, and outside of Wilkins, that's turn of Frank okay, Field. So he's going to get a warning. Turn of Frank Field. He was shown. From what we've seen so far, a yellow card. Not an automatic red. They'll warn the field. That's right. So yellow card shown. To turn off Frank Field. Once again, they go on their marks. 
Genus of Mountain Side. He's a favorite. Gone has sent them away. Brilliant start this from Wilkins of Howard Cook. Wilkins of Howard Cook has gone like a wind. A sparse turn of Frank Field and Cole of Coronaldi. Now the man in red and blue. It is Wilkins from Howard Cook having a slight advantage. But here comes Genus of Mountainside who's swooping around the bend to take the lead. It is Genus of Mountainside to take the gold. And in silver, it looks to be like Gavin of Nazareth coming through for the silver. But 26.43 seconds is the flash time for Genus. Let's see the official time. 26.47. And the gold medal, 26.47 gold. And Gavin of Nazareth is second. His time not on the board just yet. Now his time comes. 26.84 seconds was close for the bronze, but certainly the gold going to Genus of Mountainside, the silver Gavin of Nazareth. That's boys class one, 200 meters final. So class two girls. Renise Brooks of Black River, she is in 130.28 seconds, was her qualifying time. Aliana Daly, Black River in 2, 30.63. Brianna Gale of Woodlands in 3, 29.02 seconds. In 4, Brianna Chin of Wakefield, 28.57 seconds. Amoya Howell of New Forest, 28.98 seconds. You have Akila McDonald in 6 from Howard Cook. 29.72 Kayla Marie Carr from Esha 29.92 and Akilia Marks of Esha 29.37 Girls Class 2 200 meters final Brianna Chin 28.57 she's a favorite she's in lane 4 Neon Vest Neon Green Gone has sent them away for the start and of the girls' class two, 200 20 meters. Shin, she has gained on Howell on her own side. She has now passed Howell and McDonald together. She is now looking into the wings of Marx on the outside. Marx is moving well, so too Chin. That is the top two. You have Chin and Howell has come back. Chin on the inside, Howell on the inside. Chin, Chin moving away from Howell. It is Chin not winning the 100 meters, but coming through to win the two. Brianna Chin ahead of Rihanna Gale in second and third. Amoya Howell, 28.61 seconds. 28.67 is the official time. Rihanna Chin of Wakefield gaining the gold. Rihanna Gale of Woodlands, the silver. And the bronze going the way of Amoya Howell of New Forest. 28.93 seconds for Rihanna Gale in the silver. 200 meters and in third, it is Howell from New Forest, 29.09. So, time for the 200 meters. Class 2 boys, the final 200 meters on the day. Johnny Crombie from Coronaldi, he's in one. 28.78 seconds. Tyler Gregg of Escher in two, 29.78. In three, a Brian Dixon of Mountainside, 29.36. Javonni Lawson, middle quarters in four, 28.89. And Clases Beckford of Howard Cook in five, 29.12. Kemar Lee, Mountainside in six, 29.22 seconds. Dwayne Biggs of New Forest in seven, 30.05. And Tajon Price of Woodlands in eight, 29.51. Athletes, they're in the set position. You have to look for Lawson. He ran 28.89 seconds to qualify for the final record here is Andre Genos, 28.60. Class two boys, 100 meters, or 200 meters, pardon me. Gone has set them away. Great start this for Beckford of Howard Cook. He's in lane five. Beckford of Howard Cook is moving well. He has gone past Lee and also Biggs of a mountainside. And you forward respectively. He will carry the field in the home stretch. Beckford with a gigantic lead, a mammoth lead. It's a terrible upset. Beckford striding away for the rest of the field. Beckford of Howard Cook. He takes it ahead of Lawson, Lawson 
Sir Beckford, who had 29.12 seconds in qualifying for the final, having a time now 28.63. That is the flash time. The official time, 28.71. So Beckford of Howard Cook getting the gold, 28.71 seconds. The silver is Lawson. And that time, not on the board just as yet. 29.55 seconds. It's for Lawson of the quarters. He looked exhausted. It's extremely hot in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth. On the third and final day of the In Sports Devon Biscuit Western Region Primary Champs, the 2023 edition. Have to pick up one of the sponsors here, Sky Water. When you drink it, seems like you're walking in air. So the presentation of medals happening in the infield as you get ready for the 150 meters. This is class three coming up. We just had the completion of class two. What a meet we're having here this afternoon. We've given updated updated point standings. Because we told before it's two the hard way. When we gave you the last point standing between Cornali and Escher. Cornali, they were 123. Escher, they're 119. Some changes will be happening inside of the last two events, the last four events. So the athletes are coming out for the 150 meters. Class 3 girls and boys. And then right after, we have the relays. 800 meters medley and 4x2 to close out the championship. They want to close it a bit earlier than expected. Due to the forecast of rain in the afternoon. The good thinking by the organizers of InSport along with David Riley.
Next event on track is the 150 meters on the girls' side. Amelia Shaw from Cornale, she's in one of the time of 23.38 seconds. Now Shaquille Ritchie on, of, of Clapham, 23.49. Talika Foster, Black River in 3, 23.18. Renika Reed of Fuller, Fullwood, of Fullerswood, pardon me. She is in four, 22.13. Kendra Wright, Black River, 22.43 seconds. She is in eight, five. Chalit Chelsea Fisher, Woodland, in six, 22.51. We have Samoya Bramwell from Holland, 23.36. And Athena Johnson from Escher. She is in eight, the time of 23.24. So the athlete in two. So Richie of Clapham missing in action. Gone has sent them away. Great start for Foster of Black River on the outside of Foster is Reed of Fullerswood. Reed now has gained the right of Black River to part, right of Black River. Reed with a slight advantage. Clock 22.13 seconds in the preliminaries. She has gone in front, no holding back. She's fighting the breeze. You have Renika Reed, it takes the stop spot. The clock stops. Of 18.12 seconds. That would be a spectacular time. 18.12, but the clock stopped way before she went across the line. 22.66 seconds is the official time for Renika Reed getting the gold from Fullerswood in the girls' class three, 150 meters. So Renika Reed of Fullerswood getting the gold. On the parents' race, no officials' race. Class three, come up and give your name. The top eight will so the next road. event on the track. The boys are on track. Lane one, Jamal Thomas. It's the boys, 150 meters, Lane class two, three. Albert, Jamal Lane Thomas of Black River, Lane in three, one, 22.72. Kyle Lane Birch four, of Coronaldi in two, 23.07. Tyrone Henry, Mile Gull in three, 22.52. Shaquan Reed, Glenn Stewart in four, 20.86. We have Alan James of Holland, 22.03. Dwayne Hewitt, Mountainside, in 6, 22.65. Kenado Redderburn from Flankers, in 7, 23.03. And Ryan Foster from Howard, in 8, 22.70. You have to look out for Shaquan Reed, the talented, talented Reed, who clocked 20.86 seconds to advance through to the final. He is a record holder in this event, Shaquan Reed. This is class three boys, 150 meters. So still awaiting the start of the boys class three, 150 meters. Then what's happening there? From Carnaldi. That's Bert from Carnaldi. She's suffering some cramps. He's stretching on the wall. He had a time of 23.07 seconds advancing through to this final. Hopefully he's okay. Everyone looking his way though. Ryan Foster, he's in an eight from Howard Cook. Oh, 
It's a little bit confused what's happening. I only have oh, five parents, five mothers and two fathers. Five mothers and two fathers. There's a room by the wall. Thanks to starter. It'll be okay. For the time. So he's walked off the track and gone over to the wall. So I don't know what's happening with him. Well, they're waiting on him. See if he's okay. Starts up pacing himself. So, Shakar Richardson clocking an impressive 22.07 seconds in Kenya in the 200 meters for women earlier today. Shelley Fraser Price pulling out of that meet yesterday and day before, citing no official felt discomfort in training. So, someone has gone over to the young no man from Karnada. Kyle Birch. Now, if something is wrong with him, he should not run. Simple as that. They're still awaiting what's happening with him. They can't wait for the entire day. So some of the athletes have gone off the track because the sun is extremely hot. Those boys glad three one fifty meters final. So we see some water being given to one of the official of Cornali going over to that no athlete. Race. Mothers and fathers only. It's a bit confusing what's Last happening with the youngster. Seems like he's, he's coming dead. back. He went over to the wall though and started to stretch. Don't know if he was in a bit of pain or felt something, but he was stretching a lot at the wall. And then his coach came over, gave him some water, or one of the officials at Coronaldi gave him some water. Hopefully he's okay. Last one, boys, 150 meters final. One track. So he's back on the track. He's in lane two. Athletes on their marks after lengthy, lengthy wait. It's now it's time to start the 150 meters. And a beautiful start from the boys club for the 150 meters. Shaquan Reed in the light blue gets out well. Also going well. It's Hewitt of Mountain Side. Hewitt of Mountain Side. But Shaquan Reed in the light blue. A second full control. Shaquan Reed sprinting away, the record holder cruising home. Shaquan Reed, he takes it. He takes it ahead of James of Holland and Hewitt of Mountainside. 20.86 seconds. That's a flash time. 20.92 is the winning time for Shaquan Reed. The record stands at 20.86 seconds for Reed. So 20.82 is the official time the record but 20.92 seconds was the time he ran the in the final race. well no matter what time you run you're no still the gold race. medal recipient now we're going to have some he entertainment the as the next event he on the track the is the 800 meters medley relay sprint medley relay 800. let's go mothers lane one Tashika Stevens, Mountain Side. Make her way to lane one. Lane two, Nikisha Robinson, New Forest. So Stevens in one. Lane three. Robinson in two. This is a mother's Brooklyn race. Stewart. Stewart in three. Jodian Barrett, Barbary Hall. Barrett in four. Lane five, Melissa Tucker, Barrett Tuck Road. Tucker in six. Lane six, 
Nicolette Mullings, Esther. Mullings. Take your way quickly on the track. I'll tell you when to stop. Go, 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 lane one. So Mullings Stop in inside, six. Lane one. Why are you calling the band? Stevens, Robinson, Stewart, Bard, Tucker, and Mullings. For the 800 Sprint Medley Open. Quickly. Mountainside Lane 1, New Forest Lane 2. Go quickly, I'll tell you when to stop. Go on the track. So Stevens, Robinson, line. Stewart, Go Barrett, quickly. Soccer, and Mullings. That's six. Mountainside in 1. Quickly. New Forest in 2. So it should be six. All right, stop right there. So the Go mother's over. way. Is that enough? Is that, don't Is know. That you're not seeing it on your screen All just right, now. Or the mother's race on. is coming up. Mountain side in one. So mountain side in one. In New two. forest in two. Glen Stewart in three. Barbary Hall in four. Barbary Hall Barbara in four. In stop right there. Come back. Come back. Stop right there. Let's go. Mountain side. You have Tashika Stevens in lane one. Make some noise. Some mountain sides. In lane two, Nikisha Stevens. Robinson. New forest. Robinson. He's in two. Stewart of Glenn Stewart. In three. Barrett of Barbary Hall. In four. Tucker in five. Mullings in six. So let us see with this mother's race. Stevens, Robinson, Stewart, Barr, Tucker, and Mullings. Stevens in lane one looks like she's ready. She looked like Merlin Arty just getting out of, the, out of the blocks. Well, it was at a 60 meter mark, then they're carrying it back to a 70 meter mark, maybe 80 meters. Don't take them any further. Please put them back to where they were. So lane two has Nikisha Robinson, New Forest. Mm. Lane three, Trudy and Brooks, Glenn Stewart. Brooks. Lane four, Jody and Barrett, Barbara Hall. He's in three. Lane five, Melissa Tucker, Barrett Tucker Road. From Barracks. Lane six, in five. Mullings, Nisha. And in lane seven, Lacey Asha. and Gordon, Black River. So Gordon of Black River please in seven. So Stevens in one, Robinson in two, Brooks, Glenn Stewart in three, Barrett, Barbara Hall in four, Tucker from Barracks. Five. Mullins. Six and Gordon in seven. Athletes on their marks. Seven facing the start of the mother's race. So, Sata not happy. Sata not ready. Mullins still in the set position, though. On your marks. Now she's gone back on her marks. In the set position. Let's go. Let's uh, go with my uh, start. Uh, 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 so it seems like something Get happened set. with the gun. Go. And, and they're off. Go. And it's an even break on the inside. Stevens of Mountainside. We told before. She looked like Bernie Naughty. She's calling her competitors. Oh my word. Mullings falls over. And gone has pulled out. So Mullings. Follows, fell over from Esha and Gordon from Black River pulled out but Dashika Stevens of Mountainside she has won the mother's race she was ready 
Her form was exquisite. Not in the race, but before. It's all for the games here. So first, second, and third will get get basket from the title sponsor, Devon Biscuit. Winning the mother's race. You see the father's race is later on. As uh, so we're getting ready now for the 800 meters sprint medal relay. On the girls' side, lane one, New Forest, at a time of 230.42 seconds, qualifying for this final. Mountain side into 2 minutes 46.18 seconds. In lane three, Corinaldi, 2 minutes 19.66 seconds. In four, Carisbrook, 2 minutes 10.24. In five, Esho. 216.10. In six, Howard Cook, 220.18 seconds. In seven, Barracks Road, with 228.54. And in eight, Brompton, 220.05. So getting their goodies back. We're now back on track. So the first leg is a 100 meters, the second leg is a 100 meters, the third leg 200 meters, and the fourth leg is a 400 meters. However, only the first leg is on the track right now for the 800 meters sprint medley relay. 800 sprint medley open is on track. 100, 100, and we close with 400 meters. So 100, one, 100, 200, then a 400. Lane three, mountain side. Sorry, so lane three. Uh, Alpine is not on the track three. just yet. Lane four, Harris Brook. Unless they have changed it, but lane no, Alpine are no going on the track for the first exchange. Lane six, box one. Howard Cook. Lane seven, Barracks Road. Lane eight, Brompton. Mountain side should be on track in May 2. They are absent from the 800 Sprint Medley Open for girls. So mount, mountain side not here, missing in action. Is mountain side here? So mountain side missing in action from the 800 you have one meters. To make it sprint to the ball room. Mountain side 800 Sprint Medley Open. Going once. Mountain side going twice. So, in the meantime, all right, box start. one, we're ready. Athletes are now no, on the one. track. Box one and box two, they're on box the track. Two. It's the starter. On your marks. I'm looking at box one, yes. though, to be honest. And the athlete oh, from New Forest, he thought she's in lane two. But the gun has sent them away. Great start for Coronaldi on the outside of Coronaldi's cars. Brook in the green. But moving away, it looks to be Escher primary. Look like 218. A great exit, 218. So the young lady is falling over. So one of the athletes is falling over. So trying to play catch up somewhat is Caris Brook. Carisbrook on the outside. And the Coronaldi also there. But going now on this penultimate leg is a 200 meter leg. Barks Road is in the mix. Coming around the bend in lane eight is Brompton. Brompton in lane eight. Coronaldi on the inside for the final exchange. Brompton hands over in the top position for the bike. Carnaldi and then Howard Cook is in third. And Barracks in fourth. So Brompton who clocked 220.05 seconds in the preliminaries. That is the top two. So Brompton maintaining the lead. Carnaldi has slipped into that second position. But with a 
gigantic lead on this final leg, the 400 meters. Brampton, they're looking firm control with 200 meters to go. Can she continue on the same trend, on the same road, on the same avenue? The athlete running the ankle leg for Brampton. She has looked back on her left, making sure that Coronaldi, they're way behind and that they are the present time. She slows up somewhat as she comes into the home stretch. Brompton with a gigantic lead. They lead by a contra mile. This girl's a 100 meter sprint medal. Brompton not expected to take this event, but expectations are not what happens. Expectations are not what you want it to be. It's what you believe it can be. And Brompton takes the gold. Carnaldi comes through for the silver. Two minutes ten point four nine seconds. Two ten point four nine for Brompton. And Carnale finishing in second, Howard Cook in third. Carnale's time, 2.15.38 seconds. The favorite, Carisbrook, had a poor exchange on that first box. And that proved their dismal run in this. 800 meters girls the the relay. The boys now will take center stage. 800 meters sprint the relay. Third, was was the girls, it's time for the boys. Mid quarters. In lane one, Cornaldi in two, Howard Cook in three, Box in four. Middle quarters. Lane two, in five. Lane three, Howard Cook. Lane four. So Howard Cook is in four. Lane five, is they're in the wrong lane. Lane now they put them in the right Brighton. lane. But Howard Cook. Lane seven, Black River. Lane eight, Mountain Side. So I'm checking to see though. Richanda Anderson Escher, I have your was in lane one. Richanda so Anderson no middle quarters. Carnaldi in one. There's a lot of mix up ID. going on though. We're still awaiting the fathers. So Carnaldi should be in lane two one. Fathers. fathers, make your way. And they are in lane one. Howard Cook in two. In three, you have Barracks Road. In four, Escher Primary. In five, Brompton. In six, Black River. And seven, Martin Side. On your marks. Little quarters accent from lane one. Athletes on their marks. Seven facing the starter, no middle quarters in this boys 800 Set. meters sprint medley relay final. First leg, so 100 meters. God has sent them away. A great start eight. this is from Brompton. Is they the are in lane six. In lane eight is Mountain the Side. Mountain Side is one. moving well. Four, also three, doing well six, is Barks Road. Barks Road handing over in the top of the show. They're in white. Barks Road on this back stretch on the second leg, which is another 100 meters. So Barks Road moving well, motoring well. Barks Road. No, not the greatest exchange for Barks Road. But Barks Road, based on the saga, having a slight advantage. But you have to look at Black River, who is in lane seven. Barks Road and Black River. We're out in front. Also, is Mountain Side. So that is the top three. So coming around the bend. This is leg. looking to be It's Black River and Brompton. So in six, that's Brompton on the outside, Mountain side. So Brompton with a slight advantage. Mountain side is there. They're falling into third. They're cruising around. Looking like Howard Cook on that back stretch. The, but they're slowing the down. Those boys running with the so they're bunched together with about 200 meters to go. So the 400 yeah. meter leg. 
So Clues are coming around into the home stretch. There are a bunch together with about four or five athletes right in the mix. One side that dropped off the chart. But here once again, with about 40 meters to go. So Black, Black River having a slight advantage. So Black River. Uh, heading home for its 8 the meter sprint medal relay. And Black River will get it. Brompton and Brompton third. is third. So, second, I will tell you in a very short while. Seems to be Escher, though. Not sure about that jersey. But that was a good run in the 800 meters sprint medal relay. Black River gaining the top spot. 208.91 seconds for Black River gaining that gold. We might get some rain, and so we had to push the beat ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you as well to the athletes. So the next event on track is the final event of this in sports, Devon Biscuit. It's all about the Western Region Primary Championships at the grounds of Stets, St. Elizabeth Technical High to be exact. Four by two to take center stage. We saw the 800 meter sprint medal relay a short while ago. Now two more events to close out and then we give you the final point standings to see who have won so this the region. Final race will come at 2 so the final race coming up at 2.30. So final and race coming up at 2.30 for the 4 by 200 meters. Be at the call room at 2 so Brompton, Glenn Stewart. Escher, Carisbrook, Carnaldi, Black Thank River, Wakefield and Howard Cook. And a reminder though, what has happened is that because of the weather forecast for rain in the afternoon, they decided to push up the time to end the meet early as best as possible. Because when rain comes here, rain do come in Santa Cruz. So that comes up at 2.30. Two girls, 200 meters. Brandon Chin, Wakefield. Next hour or so, wow. First, Brandon Chin, Woodland was second. Third, Amaya Howell, New Forest. Fourth, Akilia Marks, Escher. Fifth, Akilia McDonald, Howard Cook. Sixth, Akilia Marie Kerr. We'll take here Escher. a quick break here from Seven, the grounds of uh, Stets. Alliana Third and final Gale, day, the Innsports. Devon Biscuit Western Region Primary Chin, Track and Field Brian Championships. Gale.
So let's give it a top 10 in point standings. You're asking for it, clamoring for it. So give it a top 10, the latest point standings. It's out of 35 events scored from the 40. Wakefield, they're 10th with uh, 55 points. Carisbrook, they're 9th with 62.5 points. Marks Road, they're 8th with 79 points. In seventh, they're Glenn Stewart, they have 96 points. In sixth, Black River, 100.5 points. Brompton, they come next with 100 and six points in fourth howard cook 111 points mountain side their third with 120 points Esher, their second with 143 points but coronaldi they are leading with 162 points so I'll give you the top 10 once again wakefield 55 points in 10th in ninth <coughs> Carisbrook, 62.5 points. In eighth, Marks Road, 79 points. Seventh, Glenn Stewart, 96 points. In sixth, Black River, 10.5 points. In fifth, you have Brompton with 10, 106 points. Black River, 100.5 points, pardon me. In fourth, Howard Cook, 111 points. In third, Mountain Side, 120 points. In second, Escher, 143 points. And in first, you have Coronaldi with 162 points. And that's out of 35 events scored. So some more to be calculated, tabulated. And then I know there'll be a difference in the point standings after those are tabulated. So are Two more events to go. Boys, so the boys long jump first open. Day, so that will change in terms of the point standings.
So the next event to close out this championship in sports, Devon Biscuit Western Region Primary School Track and Field Championships comes up at 2.30. So we'll be back at about 2.20 to bring you more as you look ahead to the final event on the track, the Western End, and give you the latest point standings because point standings are still being tabulated as we speak. We gave you the last point standings we have. The top 10, Wakefield 55. Caris Book 62.5 in ninth. Barks Road, then eighth, 79 points. Glenn Stewart followed with 96 points. Black River, they have 100.5 points. Brompton, 106 points. Howard Cook, 111 points. They're in fourth. In third, Mountain Side, 120 points. And in second, Escher with 143 points. And first, Carnaldi with 162 points. That is the top 10 in the points category. So, but guess what? That's not the latest because events happened, at least four events happened after that, or three events happened after that. So we're waiting on that updated point standings. So when we come back about 2.20, we'll give you that updated point standings along with the final event on the cards, the four by two for boys and girls to close out the 2023 edition of the InSports Devon Biscuit Western Region Primary Champs. Until then.
Champion Girl, Brianna Chin, Wakefield. Class 2 Champion Boy, Javonni Lawson. Class 3 champion girl, Renika Reed, Fullerswood. Javonni Lawson of Middle Quarters. Class 2 champion boy. Class 3 champion boy, Saquon Reed, Glenn Stewart. Class 4 champion girl, the Borja Morris, Chester Castle. Class 4 champion boy, Jamaria Webb, New Forest. Overall champion girls, Renika Reed, Fullerswood, and Renee Lewis, Mountain Side. Overall champion boy, Chakwan Reed, Ben Stewart. Make your way now to the presentation area. Events, please. Kasha. Coaches of Paris Brook, New Forest, and Brompton, you're needed at the referee's area. Coaches Paris Brook, New Forest, Brompton, the referees need you. Sasha. Four by 200 meter relay competitors, make your way to the call room. Four by 200 meter relay competitors, make your way now to the call room. You should be at the call room by 2.30. It's now 13 minutes after 2, so you still have some time. Be at the call room by 2.30. Four by 200 meter relay open, finally. Be at the call room by 2.30.
just giving you a bit of results from the Kip Kino Classic that was earlier today. And as you would have known, Shelley and Fraser Price would have pulled out of the Kip Kino Classic with very late pull out. Um, Shelley reported that she has a knee injury and thus she pulled out. She is or uh, she would have traveled overseas to get um, treatment. Um, T.T. Terry, the American T.T. Terry. For the girls, receiving the bronze medal, Casey and Salmon, Glenn Stewart, 2 minutes 45.93. Boys go to the side. It's the Walters. Receiving the silver medal, Dabby Spin of Harrisbrook, two minutes thirty-seven point four zero. And the gold medal, Torian Jones, Harrisbrook, record run, two minutes thirty-two point nine four. If those are the 800 sprint medley athletes, please come back this side. We're not presenting the 800 sprint medley now. There's protest. Please get them, Andrea. Sprint medley athletes, come back this side. As I was saying earlier, T.T. Terry won the women's 100 in 10.86 seconds. And she won ahead of Zoe Hobbs, 10.97. Shakara Richardson, you would have heard it earlier, won the 200 in a meet record, meeting record that is, 22.07. Shakara Richardson won by about five to seven meters you know, so it seems as if shakari richards richardson is back oh maniala he of Kenya, Kenya top man in the sprint. He won the 100 meters in 9.84 ahead of Benarek of the USA, 9.98. So we had some very fast time. Aaron Brown of Canada won the men's 220.12. Had some very fast times today at the Kipkino Classic. Many would remember last year. Shelly and Fraser ran 10.62 to win at the Kip Kino Classic. Some very fast Are times today. Jay Trees all come as meet at the National Stadium later on this afternoon. The junior starts at 3 o'clock and the senior starts at 5 o'clock.
four by two and three meter relay competitors. Time to go now to the floor room. Four by two and three meter relay finalists. Make your way now to the floor room. Are the class champions at the area? This is Brown, Walker Brown. Class champions, please go to the presentation area. So. Renee Lewis Mountain Child, Karen Gavin Nazareth, Brianna Chin Wakefield. Uh, Brianna Chin so is supposed to be in the 4x2, I imagine. Devonny Lawson, Mountain Middle Quarters, Renita Reed Fullerswood, Shaquan Reed, Shaquan Reed, Glenn Stewart. So I'm calling on the names of the class champions and overall champions for the regional Western meet under the In Sports umbrella sponsored by Devon Biscuit. Primary champs taking center stage. The big shebang at the National Stadium next few weeks, 24th. Three days fun-filled activities. We will be there for all three days. As we get ready for the 4x2 to close out the show. Just awaiting the final point standings before we start the 4x2. And that's not with the final, the final, I should say the up-to-date point standings. Before we close out on the regional. It's getting cool and bleak over the grounds here. And I'm wondering to myself why it took so long to run a 4x2. I know the athletes need to rest. And some of the athletes may have run the 800 meters medley relay, so they're giving them time to recover. But Carnaldi, they're leading in the points department, 162 to Escher, 143. Mountain side, 120. Good performances all the around. 200 meter relay finalists. Final call for you at the call room. So four by two relay finalists. So shift in times though, to be honest. We are scheduled to finish about something to four this afternoon, but due to the weather forecast of rain in the afternoon, they have decided to push up the events. Donna? President of the J3s, Donna? we spoke to him at Central are Championships. He's in the house, Mr. Garth Gale. I know he'll be going back to town very soon because of the all-comers meet happening at the National Stadium this afternoon. It's good to see the president of the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association in the house. He was over by GC Foster College. He was coming from school. He's a high school principal. You'll be awarding or you'll be handing out the medals, I think, to the respective class winners. Medal presentation now so for the class presentation. The class winners, class champions. An overall champion. They get some cash prize. Let's start at the class four. Mr. 
Bernard Gale, president of the grade three A's, will present the class champion. Class one champion girl, Renee Lewis, mountain side. Class one champion girl, Renee Lewis, a mountain side. She will accept the trophy for Mr. Garth Gale. So Lewis did extremely well. Class two champion girl Brianna so, Chin Wakefield. So class two class champion girl Brianna Chin from Wakefield. Girl. I saw Brianna Chin earlier on. I know she'll be competing the four by two. She finished second in the one hundred, winning the two hundred. Class four, Sister, champion goal. Let's uh, go now to the boys. Class one champion boy. Uh, class one Catholic champion boy. Favorite. Young young man from Nazareth, getting his trophy from the president of J three is. Class two. Class two champion, champion boy. boy. Javani Larson from middle quarters. So Larson from middle quarters. Class two champion. Class three champion boy Shaquan Reed. Glenn Stewart. Class three champion boy Shaquan Reed. From Glenn Stewart. A young athlete with immense talent. Class four champion boy Jamaria Webb, a new forest. Uh, Jamaria Webb from New Forest, class four champion. And a few supporters left from New Forest are bellowing out. Now the overall champion gets thirty thousand. However, overall champion on the boys' side, on the girls' side, however, it is shared. It's shared between the all. Overall champion girls, Renika Reed, Fullerswood, and Renee Lewis. Renika Reed and Renee Lewis. Renika Reed, Renee Lewis, they're sharing the they overall champion the girl. Check. And they're sharing the now check of 30,000. So they will each get 15,000. 15, Towards their tuition. Brian is standing by to present them with their check. The overall champion girls performed excellent for their schools. Now, Shereen Bryan, brand manager, give Shereen Bryan, give them a round of applause. Brand manager at Devon Biscuit. $30,000 check they have to share. The overall champion boy will share the check with himself. So overall champion boy. He will get a check valued at $30,000 from Devon Biscuit. Chacon Reed! Chacon Reed. For Glenn Stewart, we told you before this youngster is an immense talent. He's a major talent, though, this youngster. From Glenn Stewart, Shakon Reed. Now you get a gift back from Devon Biscuit. Receiving the gift back from Devon Biscuit. I see you there. Check. Symbolic $30. check. It's a body check from Shereen Bryan, a marketing manager at Devon Biscuit. He's a happy camper. Congratulations, Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed, I'm told that you're to give me $10,000 out <laughs> of that. How was I know? 
<laughs> so those are the so class winners receiving their awards. Individual awards. I think one of you you never saw, especially Chin. I think she's over by the Marshall in here for the four by two. That's what I think. I may be incorrect in my thinking. Now we have the athletes to come over. It's now 2.33 though. I thought the athletes would have been over from the call room. They're not over just as yet. They're entering the lower end of the field. I know Brianna Chin is going to run. Where is the Boris of Morris of Chester Castle? Chester Castle? He said the Boris of Morris. As the athletes show off their medals and their trophies and their goodie bags. So every time they make their way to the podium, they receive a goodie bag from Devon Biscuit. So if you go through the podium four times, you're four times lucky. Seen some athletes over by the call room, not on your picture. This, I want to give you the updated point standings as we get them. We haven't received them just as yet, though. But I know the last point standings we got were not the up up updated point standings. If it was, I'd have miscalculated. See David Riley, meet manager in your picture. That's walking across the tent. So athletes still in the call room area. Four by two for girls will be the next event, the penultimate event of the 2023 championship. And we have on the boys' side, four by two. Had the men relay, 800 meters earlier on, and 200 meters. All of that we saw on the track. Now the athletes are coming across from the call room. Finally, the ladies are making their way to come on the field. And you're not seeing it in your picture, but they are there they're in your picture at the lower end of the field. make their way onto the field for the 4 by 2 the penultimate event in this 2023 run of the InSport Devon Biscuit Western Region track and field of championships athletes are now on the field
So the, penult so the penultimate event is on the track. Brampton in one, 201.25 seconds. The girls four by two relay. Glenn Stewart is in two. Coach of middle quarters, you are needed. Asher Primary in area. three. Coach of middle quarters, you are needed at the records area. Kyris Brook in four. We had a time of 156.49 seconds. Asher Primary's time was 158.14. And Carnaldi, 159.25 seconds. They're in lane five. Black River, blue and gold, 205.89 in six. Wakefield in seven, 200.67. And Howard Cook in lane eight, 158.15 seconds. Set. It's the start of the penultimate event. The girls, 4 by 2 Eaton Relay Open in sports, a Devon Biscuit Western Region Primary Championship. We look on the favorite for this event, none other than Karis Brook. They are the record holders, they're gaining on Coronali. They're in full green, and they're gaining and passing Coronali on their own side. Karis Brook on this opening leg of the girls, open 4 by 2 the smooth sailing for Kaisbrook. They extend the baton in the top spot on the outside. Howard Cook is there. But Kaisbrook in the middle of the pack. They will carry the field on the front stretch. Not home just as yet. But out on the outside. Howard Cook is there. But on the inside in full green is Kaisbrook. They stand a chance of winning this event. They are the record holders on this penultimate exchange. It is Karis Brook, then Howard Brook. So, Howard Cook now fighting for that second spot. Escher there in third. Black River in fourth. Carnaldi there in fifth. Going back to the top of the puck. Karis Brook is fighting and for the top spot with Howard Cook. Escher in third on this penultimate exchange. Karis Brook now leaving Howard Cook behind him. Brilliant run from Carisbrook, third leg run out for this penultimate exchange, no final exchange. Says Carisbrook, they're off to the races. Howard Cook still in second, Escher in third. But here comes Grant of Coronaldi. Coronaldi's Grant is moving from fourth to third. She's trying to reel into second for Coronaldi, but to the front of the pack. Still Carisbrook, the favorite, the record holder. They're in front, but Grant has put Coronaldi in third. But it is Karis Brook to take it ahead of Howard Cook and then followed by Colonel and then Black River, Escher, pardon me, is fourth. So 156.10, 156.10 for Karis Brook, 156.10, bettering the time of 156.49. They set in the preliminaries. It's a new record for Caris Brook. They broke the record, which was broken in the prelims. 156.10. So 156.49 was this record they set yesterday in the preliminaries. 156.10. Caris Brook supporters are in the stands. They have come to life. So the final event, the 4 by 2 for boys. In lane 2, you have seven teams. Flankers. Full blue. Who helped to make this meet a success? Make Escher Primary. In red and black. Thank you to the personnel from InSports. Howard Cook. Give the personnel from InSports a round of applause, in everybody. Four. Carnaldi, they're in 5. Black River. They're in six. Kyle's Brook. We're full green. In seven. On mountain side with full red. In lane eight. Black River, blue and gold. Thank you to Pitech Publishing. The final event. So flankers, full blue in two. Esha. In three. Red and black. In four. Howard Cook. Flankers. Red and blue. Coronaldi. Pink and blue. Lane three, 
Jackson. I'm saying pink. I don't know if I'm if right with that color. The record holders, Howard Cook. With a record time of one minute. Black River. They're in six. In lane five, Coronale Avenue. In seven. Carisbrook, full green. Seven, and lane eight. Brooks. The mountain side, eight, full red. One, well, I'm looking to the right of the hills, though. It doesn't Box look one. pretty at all. As Box it did this morning, one, it was ready. sunny. Now the breeze is coming over. On your marks. South to west. Athletes on their marks for this final event. In the in sports, Devon Biscuit, Bet. Western Region Primary Championships. And the gun has sent them away. Carisbrook, they got up ahead of the, the pack. They are in lane seven, in but lane they were not five. called back. Carisbrook, with a momentous three, lead, they've gained on Mountain Side. Mountain Side feeling the presence and of Carisbrook. Mountain Side in lane eight in full red. Now on the inside, Escher is getting well. They've gone past Howard Cook on the outside. So, exchange the baton. Looks like Escher, Carisbrook is there. Carisbrook has gone past Mountain Side on the second leg. On the first leg, said Carisbrook, they are in lane seven. Cornaldi, they are in second. Howard Cook wants to come back in the play. Escher is there in third. Mountain Side, they are on side in lane eight. But it is Carisbrook for this penultimate exchange. The boy is four by two. They hand over the baton in the top position. Coronaldi, they are in second. Howard Cook, they are in third. Mountain side fourth. And then followed by Escher in fifth. Black River, sixth. And Flankers in seventh. Now going back to the top of the pack. It is Carisbrook with a monumentous lead. Here comes Coronaldi and Howard Cook in third. Escher now they've gone into fourth. Mountain side to drop back to fifth for the final exchange. Carisbrook all alone. Carnal is there. And so too Howard Cook. But Carisbrook high knee lifts with 150 meters to go. Carisbrook is cruising around. Heading into the home stretch. They're all alone. The girls won the four by two. And the boys doing the same street on the same street, on the same avenue, repeating what the girls did to win the four by two. This time on the boys side. Cornell finishing in second. Howard Cook in third. Escher fourth. Mountainside in fifth. And Black River finishing in sixth. And Flankers will come up in seventh. The winning time. It's 1 minute 55. 155, 86 on the clock for second. So we are waiting to see the winning time. 155. And it's not on the board just yet. 158 on the board for third. But Carrie's Brook getting the gold in the final event in the in sports. Devon Biscuit Western Region Primary Final Championships. I have not given you the winning time just yet because I have not seen it on the board. Well, I've given times for all of the competitors. Now we are waiting. The final point standings and the announcement of the winners. Well done. Carisbrook I'll winning the, the boys Stadium and the girls four by two.
blowing away everybody else. So it was, it was a very good race. Thank you, Rodri. Well, that was Rodri Robinson. Michael announced that. Samoan Donkey was here, but unfortunately he could not be here today. Put your hands together for Samoan Donkey, everybody. So we await the results for the 4 by 200 meter relay. We await the results for the 800 sprint medley. And we have presentations. Andrea, can you come to me please? Colin? If you look over on the hillside, I see the rain is coming. So thank you to all the coaches for making the meet finish approximately one hour ahead of time. Put your hands together for the coaches, everybody. The brown staff here at St. Elizabeth Technical. What a staff we have. Put your hands together for the ground men, the grounds men. They did on and not clap them good. Make some noise. Red Cross or medical team, make some noise for Red Cross. Here are the 4 by 200 meter relay for boys. Harris Brook, the winners, 152.81. Avenue second, Howard Cook third. 152.81 for Carries Brook. Top three, Eshawas fourth, Mountainside fifth. For boys. Black River sixth and seventh, Flanders. Bleak conditions coming over the ground here at Stets. As I said before, the weather forecast was for rain in the afternoon. So everyone is just preparing. For my to vacate. Open. The girls, Harris broke the winners, 156.10. Harris broke to the presentation area now. So the presentation now. Once the rain gets Presentation here, I would cook second, Harinaldi third. I have not heard Eshapur, the final point standings just yet. Celebrating that. Black there were some protests seven, that were lodged, especially for the 800 meters medley. So Eshapur, that has not been sorted out just yet. Area. For the girls, Harrisbrook, Howard Cook, and Harinaldi Avenue. Let's go. Of course, the staff from Fortis Timing, they did an amazing job as well. Put your hands together for Fortis Timing, everybody! Well done. Our meet manager, our meet director must be saying, why isn't she picking me up? He doesn't really like it, but I have to do it. Big up to our meet director, Mr. David Riley!
still awaiting the final point standings to wrap up our broadcast here and to see the check issue out to the winning team which has not been announced just yet so they've not released it just yet so feel the cold breeze and light showers and they're taking their sweet time though the 800 spring medal open ready to go to the medal podium are the girls there harry spoke howard cook marina the avenue for the girls for the boys harry spoke marina the avenue and howard cook Big up to the students from St. Hey. Elizabeth Technical who helped to make the meat run smoothly. Yeah, <laughs> so fourth place, the tenth place. Overall winners, they will get seventy-five thousand dollars. The top three schools will be presented with their prizes today. 150,000, 200,000, second, 250,000 for first. For caterers, as you just heard, that 250,000, 200, and 150,000, first, second, and third in this Western Regional Championship, as it has been for the Eastern and the Central. However, although the prices have been told in terms of which, how much for what placing, no teams have been announced in those positions as yet. Are we ready at the presentation area? The rain is coming. So they're taking their time in the presentation area, though. And I don't think they realize what's happening. So we're just handing them their medals. Is that what's happening? So a lot of a lot of questions are being asked in terms of the meat and the presentation of the symbolic check to the respective teams. That can't be done just yet. As we don't know who are the winners just yet. For first, second and third.
So we are not gone just yet, just awaiting the final point standings. Let's have a word with the officials a short while ago. A uh, protest was lodged in the sprint medley. So that has been resolved. So within the next five minutes, I've been told that we'll get the latest of the last point standings. See which team has come out on top. A wonderful championship. Coronali, they're leading the last time we heard. 162 points. Escher, they were second, 143. Mountainside were third, 120. Howard Cook, 111. And Brampton, 106. Black River, 100.5. Glenn Stewart, 96. Barks Road, 79. Carisbrook, 62.5. And the Wakefield, they had 55 points under their belts. That was the top 10, the last point standings that was announced and that we have. So we're waiting the final point standings after the completion of the relays, the 800, the 200. And we see now the breeze getting heavier. So we know that the rain is going to come with some of that breeze that we're experiencing right now. I don't think you can see it in your, on your screen. It's so revised results for the Internet Sprint Medley. The winning team, Corinale Avenue, 2 minutes 15.38. That's a new record. Second, Black River, 104. Teams so, going out to presentation area. Fourth was Barracks Road. So revised results. And the new Forest was disqualified. Eight kilometers. Eventually, three teams were disqualified. New Forest, Brampton. So also disqualified. So Carisbrook has the record of two minutes ten point two four. Corinale Avenue, Esha and Howard Cook go to the presentation area. Eight hundred sprint medley open for girls. As bleak conditions coming over the ground, presentation ceremony, a presentation to be had right now. Coronali. Sprint meddling. Three teams got disqualified that sprint meddling. So the lightning in the background in the hills. Sprint medley open after three teams were disqualified on the girls' side. The winning team, Black River, Black River, second the champions, third, Howard Cook, Fourth, side, Esha. second, Fifth, Howard Cook, third, Barracks Road and Brompton, Barracks, Sport, Barracks Road and Brompton was disqualified in that, so those two races. Standings. So the point standings, I think the this is the final point, final point the standings. I have the 41 events scored. So we give you the top 10 as it comes out and the fact is I don't think much changed with the top 10 at Wakefield was 10th at the time or anything can happen. In 18th place is Flankers with 24 and a half so points. So Flankers, 24 and a half points in 18th. 17th, Mandeville with, with 25 points. points. In 14th place is Woodlands with 36 points. In 12th, Nazareth, with, Nazareth 40 40 with 40 points. Fuller's Wood, 11th. Fuller's Wood, Nazareth, along with 40 points. New Forest, 47 points. Is Wakefield, Wakefield six or seven points. Eight six and a half points. 
19 points, Lynn Stewart. Hundred and a half point, five. Brampton, hundred and ten points. Brampton, points. Fifth, hundred and twenty-five points, Black River. One twenty-nine for Mountain Side. Howard Cook, their third. One forty-six points for Howard Cook. Mountain Side, their fourth. Third is Howard Cook with one forty-six points. So Howard Cook, who was fourth the last time we spoke, well, they jumped to third and Mountain Side to fourth. So Howard Cook, 146 points for Howard Cook in third. They will receive one hundred and fifty. They receive, I said, one fifty thousand dollars going their way. In second place, Esha, Esha. one seventy-two points, and the, and the champions, Carnaldi, two hundred and eight points. So the champions, Carnaldi, two hundred and eight points. Esha second, one seventy-two points, and Howard Cook third, one forty-six points. So they're waiting for the team. Howard Cook. Going once, Howard Cook twice. Howard Cook three times. And the second is Esha, who received two hundred thousand dollars for placing second at regionals. Howard Cook, go to the podium quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. The Carnaldi and Esha is there, but Howard Cook is not. We don't see Howard Cook just yet. Esha and Carnaldi, have you please come to the presentation area? All right, with quickly, the wind please. blowing heavily. Few students from Howard Cook are here. Howard As Cook you see on your screen, their receiving their third place check of $150,000. Three representatives of Howard Cook and Let's representing quickly. Three, third quickly, quickly. photo ops. Congratulations to Children, Howard Cook. 146 points. Second. Esha in second make place. Way, Esha. Esha, Esha, make your way. To the so, Esha to the podium quickly. So, Esha will go to the podium. As quick as possible. I'm feeling the drops right now. And they'll accept their check of $200,000 for finishing in second at regional. The $200,000 for second place and their trophy. Let's go quickly, Esha. It's raining already. And the rain is coming down as we speak. And they'll get their check. Pictures will be taken and they'll disperse for finishing second. And then it will be time for Coronaldi. And the winning school, Coronaldi Avenue. And go to the podium. Coronaldi Avenue. Coronaldi Avenue, quickly. The rain is coming. God bless you all. Mm. And see you all next year. So Carnaldi will accept their check at the podium as Esha dispersing. And athletes are the athletes from Esha dispersing. Carnaldi will accept their check now at the champions of the regional. Pictures still being taken though, but they don't like rain. The photographers don't realize rain is coming, so they don't have time for that. So 